Well, folks, uh, welcome back to Urban Blackburn here in Melbourne for the IFSC Oceania qualifiers here in Melbourne, folks. Uh, it's great to be back. Yesterday we had the semi-finals, the best 20 from each of the countries, Australia, New Zealand and Guam went head to head. And today we've got the finals, folks. Only the best eight have gone through. And again, if you uh, joined us yesterday, you would have seen I'm joined in the commentary box by Ian Gilmartin and our own Tom O'Halrahan, all the way from the Blue Mountains, our own Olympian as well. How are we, fellas? Good to have you back in the commentary box. Looking forward to today. Is this thing on? Today is going to be massive. And uh, is this, is this yeah, as you said on? in the beginning, there's an Olympic spot up for grab for one male, Thank one female. Dreams are going to be made here today. That is for sure. And uh, what about you, Ian? Yesterday was action packed. Oh, yeah. I mean, Tom could put it any better. Exactly right. What an event. And, you know, yesterday was just athleticism wall to wall. Amazing to watch. And um, it's all online today. You know, they've got a chance of winning the, the big one. It's exciting. Absolutely. Well, we're going to have our lineup in a minute. Uh, the, uh, the crowd's getting pretty excited oh, out there. Gosh, and our... The energy, Jess. It's yeah. insane, isn't it? Well, I've got a little bit of vibe going on. I'm feeling a bit nervous for the competitors myself, but it's going to be a huge day. But but uh, why don't we take a look at the lineup uh, and uh, while the MC's doing some things, you know, here's the lineup from yesterday. It's in reverse order. So they come out in eight to first, but the first climber was the eighth position. So, you know, Tom, talk us through uh, a bit of this. Here's the men. You know, what did you see yesterday? Max absolutely threw it down. Um, but uh, there was plenty of uh, plenty of other competitors really, you know, right hot on his tail. Yeah, it was a very good bouldering round from everyone, really. And then the lead climbing as well. Just everyone got to just leave it all out on the wall, it yep. would seem. Um, some strong performances from people like Dylan Parks. Uh, and Sam Lavender as well, and yeah, the big standout, Maxim Pear there, uh, qualifying first, so he'll be the last climber out. It's going to be awesome to see. Yeah, absolutely. We've got uh, Oscar Wolf uh, making it through for the New Zealand team. Yeah, no uh, slouch either, really putting a good show in both. Um, absolutely. Representing New Zealand well, it was great. Yep. So we've got, uh, let's go to our, uh, our women and have a bit of a look at how they... Uh, very, very unfortunately, Rebecca um, as, uh, is out today. Um, she's got the, uh, I hear she's got the Rona, so that's um, such a bit of a bit of a, uh, a disappointment for her. She did a fantastic job yesterday qualifying. Well, if she was a little under the weather, you know, to come out and still make the top eight an even better tip of the hat, and 17, 20 years ahead of her to come back and, you know, be healthy in return, health over wealth, you know, so. Yeah, absolutely. Speedy yeah, speedy recovery there. That's um, a, a real real bummer really for her uh, but the rest of our competitors it's going to be an amazing um all right amazing competition yeah all right well let's go down to the floor because we've got all our the presentation of our competitors now and let's see uh, uh our teams who have made it into the finals max and amanda are already out there and there comes oscar and ataku ataku they all look excited. It's good. They're, they're hiding the nerves well. Yeah, yes. there's a mixture of nerves <laughs> and uh, excitement. You want to try and stay in your zone, wherever that is. For some people, that's getting really hyped up. And for some people, that's just really chilling out. Uh, but it's always awesome to be able to come out Stand in front of everyone there, find something to do with your hands. I always feel very nervous. <laughs> yeah. uh, the whole crowd's yeah. looking at you, Yeah, top. but you can't help but just have a smile on your face and just feel the energy of the moment and um, really appreciate all of the work that you've put in to get to this point. That's uh, a, it's a great point is that they've got to, you know, like obviously you've been here and you've got to remember to give yourself that praise and that pat on your own back as well and say, hey, look, even making to this and point is a sensational achievement, but it's in a level playing field, give or take, you know, count back which we hopefully won't need, Oceania, and they've all got a great shot at winning it, you know? Yeah, yeah, they, they do. They do. Well, listen, you know, Tom, how do you reckon, you know, right now, these guys and girls are, you know, in the, the nerves department? You reckon it's uh, it's in uh, autopilot for them, or you reckon there's still a bit of nerves, you know, with a, an Olympic ticket, ticket on the line too? It, it is a little bit tricky, for sure. I, I always found that this point, like, th there was nothing else that I could be doing. It, when you're in the warm-up area, you're in your own little zone, you're running through your routine, you've got your little things that make you feel good, whether that's a bit of music, maybe reading a book, leaking through a magazine. Uh, and then when you're out on the wall, you've got that to concentrate on. But this is a, a real kind of emotional 
uh, roller coaster at the moment because all you do is stand there and kind of clap and, and watch everyone. <laughs> Your processes can be used here, yeah, absolutely. And um, as we can see in the background as well, these are actually some of the climbs that we're attempting. What we not what we haven't shown off camera is the athletes have already had that opportunity to actually assess and look at them. Um, so now they're going into the isolation. They've already done the review period and uh, now they can perform and move forward to right, coming out in that reverse order as we spoke about a little yeah, earlier. Yeah, so essentially they come out and everyone gets two minutes per boulder to have their viewing. So that's different to yesterday. They got a full five minutes to come out and had to essentially on-site. Uh, but now they get those two minutes uh, and that's going to be taking in as much of the information as possible. All of the athletes generally are sharing that together. It's a real collaborative feel. Yes. Uh, and so they go through one boulder at a time, two minutes each, and then they come out and they've got four minutes to do the best that they can do. And then that's it. And then they go back behind the curtain and wait to come out for their second boulder. And that's boulder. something quite magic, Tom. Like, I think that if you've not seen it before at home, the, the fact that the camaraderie, that these people are competing for, you know, the, this big prize of winning this Oceania, qualifier and at the same time they're all helping each other you know they look at each problem they try and share their beta the way that they interpret the climb will be climbed and that they're communicating and sharing and we just love that that's the the heartwarming aspect of you know top the top of the game the highest level athletes and they're still helping each other you know it's, yeah it's I, i'd say even like I, I went i competed for australia at the olympic games in tokyo <laughs> and we're there doing all of that together and uh, everyone's sharing information oh what do you think you know left hand to this are we going to match feet and yeah an olympic gold medal is up for grabs at that point and Everyone's still sharing. I oh, think that's a really yeah. beautiful part yeah. of climbing. We, we watched. I mean, we watched you watch, doing it. You know, it's the thing. We were home watching it, but you, yeah, you were a part of it, and I think that's just yeah, it's fantastic. It's such a unique part of climbing as well. That testament to the sport yeah. and the, the community that we uh, we all hang out in, yeah. which is brilliant. You know, so uh, you know, you, you had a bit of a look at the boulder problems down there. What do you reckon uh, is in store for everyone today? Does it look a bit tough? Uh, I had a bit of a look, and they look they look quite stiff. <laughs> it, it looks very exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah there's a part of me that wishes I could come out and just have a little he, bit of a he's play. He's got his climbing <laughs> shoes under the desk on. <laughs> yeah. <They're> on. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it looks great. It's going to be a test. Uh, the, the root setters have put everything out there. There's going to be a test of your explosive ability, your strength, your ability to stay calm under pressure and maybe not um, cook your goose a little bit too much, so to speak. Yep. Uh, um, because it'd be easy if, you know, you're maybe not getting on with a boulder problem to just get on that hamster wheel of pulling back on, pulling back on. So there's a lot of tactics in there as well. Yeah. Uh, and the, yeah, there's also, you know, the slabby balance boulder problems are going to be in there as well. So it's going to really test the nerves and the footwork of the athlete. Plenty to be looking at, right. So we got our first competitor out, Max Thomas. Max uh, Thomas. Is out and about. Now he's... Uh, he's out by himself because, unfortunately, Rebecca Hunsell from New Zealand is not uh, on the mat. So Max is going to get the whole crowd's attention and our attention for the first boulder problem of the, the he, show. He's so definitely see. a confident young man. I think he'll, uh, he'll love that. There's no problem with that for Max. There he goes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Little fist bump. <laughs> he's well, just vindicating my statement. Thanks, Max. But, uh, yeah, legend. And, um, yeah, excited to see how he goes on this first one. He's a Queensland boy. Uh, from the state of Queensland in Australia here. That was my hometown as well, or home state. And Max has so, just moved to Sydney to further his training as well. So he was in uh, the Gold Coast for a while, or Brisbane, and then moved to Sydney. So let's see how he's going. Yeah, right. following your footsteps again, let's get, Tom. Let's get the clock up and the, the cameras <laughs> rolling and see what Max has got to offer. He did have a good boulder round yesterday, and he's got a good, um, good amount of experience at the international stage. Stage. He competed for Australia in Dallas in 2022 at the World Youth Nationals. Yes. Came 37th in that comp, which is no mean feat on the world stage. And then did a little bit better again in the um, South Korea World Youth Championships this year, coming 25th in Boulder. So he knows his way around a Boulder problem. He knows the process. He's got some experience. Yeah. yeah. I did get a chance to actually interview uh, Max and uh, Aidan Yenev um, from Western Australia while they were over there and uh, yeah it was it was great to see these young uh, these young competitors out there getting some great international experience yeah they were, they were great to watch those interviews they're good character they've got both good characters all right they've got the they've clock, got the clock reset um now uh, they might need to refresh it on our screen but you can see it up there in the top left corner anyway folks it'll be four minutes today tom so different to yesterday four minutes only and you've 
had some time to look at the uh, look at the uh, boulder problem as a, a competitor anyway. Yeah, so I was saying yesterday, five minutes has never felt so short in your life when you're out there on the mats. <laughs> now it's even shorter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be interesting to see the start of this because the, the, the beginning of this boulder where he's squatting in there, it's 45 degrees, very steep, very awkward position. I thought you were saying 45 degrees heat, then I was going to yeah. say, holy, okay. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, but not quite that yeah. hot. Yeah. 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 But um, yeah, no, it is. It's, and they this might is the get thing rid of us out of the corner there and so we can see the whole shot, which would be awesome. This is the thing we mentioned yesterday as well, is that, like you say, the deceiving cameras can do a bit of just in Very like this. The crowd love that. Yeah, yep. nice it's one works. of those moves we need to... Left eye looks left, right eye looks right, and you've got to try and coordinate all of that. <laughs> this whole... What were you calling it yesterday? The, the frog eye? What <laughs> yeah, you need to yep. frog. Yep. Yeah, big swing out there for him. Uh, that, as I was saying, that right-hand crimp just on the angle change, that's still in that 45-degree overhang. Uh, it's... Tricky. That's a, that's a bad hold, and you've got to swing over that number 10 zone hold that we've got there. That's worth 10 points for the athlete. Well, we might um, get them to pull out a little bit and have a look at the whole boulder problem, because he's sort of he's swinging around to his left, and he's got to kick that left foot to, to stop that. And, you know, you know does, it, does he need to match there or something, or is there going to be some bit of a weird barn door thing? Or Yeah, so the, the, that number 10 hold is looking, it looks like quite a good jug. Uh, so that'll be nice, but you can see that number 5 hold's kind of tucked around the aret. So... These athletes could hold on to that number 10 jug all day long. But probably do a one-arm chin-up on it, Tom. Yeah, yep. Potentially, yeah. <laughs> I wish I could have that power. I haven't done many of them in my life. <laughs> but coming from around on that number five hold, his feet were back there. I can't remember whether it was a heel or a toe ball. Heel up on the, on the number yeah. five. Yep. Yeah, and that's just massive inertia and leverage swinging him out off the wall, making that hold, which would be nice and easy any other day of the week really quite difficult and then yeah mantle up onto that box to the left yeah, nice. jumps again Come executes on, so will he stick with the same re yeah same same method Be interesting again, to see how he wants to try and wash off the speed he's got to kind of swoop into the wall and you can't see it from this angle, but he's coming around a bit. It's, it's, it's a further away than you see because you think it's flat on the screen. Yeah, and, when and that right foot mm. unhooks, it really brings him around yeah, yep. instead of across. There yep. you go. That's a great angle to show you that. And so that what angle. he's going to want to try and do is maybe with that trailing left leg or his hips or something, just find some momentum in as he launches off to that number 10 hold. Because if he just pulls off to the side, as he releases that right foot, it's all just going to swing off. Swing off. And, and it looks from this angle, it's, it's a blind jug too. The, it, it, maybe you can't see it. And uh, again, it's you know, the blind reach with some leg coordination and eyes going two ways. Um, you know, it sounds... Yes. <laughs> sounds yeah, well, that's the thing as well, is from this angle, you can see the athlete's direction. He's seeing his right heels tucked in on this dual text hold on the right. He can't physically see where he's grabbing. So it is from those previous attempts, he's got to use that that know-how and that insight to, to make this next one count. Well, that's the one-minute clock there, folks. It's ticking down 50 seconds. Good, tactics, probably go here up, from, yeah. good tactics here from Max. You, you saw him just sit down, have a little drink of water. Uh, he might not be thirsty as such, but it's just a little cue for him to just chill out and pull. He's got to pull it back together. It's okay, plenty of time. And again, like you said yesterday, Tom, maybe, you know, you go at 40 seconds. If there was a foot slip or something early, you've got two shots at it. Exactly yep. that, yeah. So... He'll be aiming for the top here, you'd imagine. Ten points would be very tasty for him as well. well Try and swoop in. There we go. Oh. You saw there was just a little bit of a hip movement. He's moving his chest in just a little bit more, and that looks a lot better. Yeah. But and, a very uh, violent fall. And uh, we spoke about it off. as well, um, the fact that there's these two zones. It means that those extra attempts, even if you don't make it to the end or you don't have time, Getting that second zone can be all important. Absolutely. Um, they really do compile. Yeah, we have another round of applause for Max and all our all right. athletes as we... There you go. Now Max is out. Underway. So now we will get to see the first female attempt uh, women's one as well, which is exciting. I believe it would be Amanda coming out first. Yeah, Amanda Speed, who's now our sole Soon New Zealand enough, athlete. So uh, the whole nation behind her <laughs> for the female category. Obviously, we've got oh, yeah. Oscar. Yes. In the men's as well. Where's oh, both of them coming out? Here we go. Double yeah. Kiwis. This is nice, yeah. Right, it's a good well, moment for New Zealand as well. Yeah. Big shout out to the New Zealanders. Um, and if you're online uh, in NZ, great to have you here. Yeah, thanks for joining us and you're in for uh, yeah, a right. little special show here. Both these climbers, also a bit of outdoor climbing in their life as well. Finding that balance between competition representing their country, but also getting out onto the rock. 
climbers yeah. after my own heart. I love finding that balance. <laughs> yeah. little Conflicting yeah. little um, pulls at times. Yep. Yep. But it's, there's no greater feeling than being out there and representing your country on a stage like this and, and fighting it out All for right. an Olympic spot. There's a, a little bit of glitching going on with the clock here, folks. It's beeping but not counting down, so uh, be patient with us. But uh, there's, a, there's a great crowd in today. Fantastic to yeah. see. And uh, they're really pumped up. You, there's uh, plenty, more, uh, plenty more in the wings as well. And... Uh, we're, uh, we're making sure that uh, they get a bit of a view uh, from down there, but uh, it's great to see so many people supporting the sport and out today. So, uh, And all of you online as well. It's just so great to have such a following uh, worldwide. And this is again where both these athletes have got you know, a number of events um, for Oscar the Youth events under their belt of IFSC level. So right, you know, it helps them deal with these sort of nerves and this sort of thing of the, you know, the soul attention. So all these, all these experiences will just play into that as well. Absolutely. And uh, as we saw with Max taking his time on the, uh, on the attempt, is it from, event, from attempt number one, boulder number one, Tom, that you start thinking a little bit about conservation of your, your energy and your skill? No, that you've got all four boulders and the lead to go. Yeah, absolutely. That happens from your very first warm-up on day one. Um, you just want to be thinking about what, what do I need to do to make this the In most the efficient meantime, day yeah. possible, essentially, in Let's weekend, because anything that you, you do that is unnecessary is just essentially, you know, maybe going to cost you a move or so yeah. on the lead wall or, yeah. or whatever it is. So, yeah. 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 Especially, yeah. You, you throw in hard moves like this um, on, on these steep, ter steep terrain and it really zaps you. And, and you had, uh, you know, last night you said there was a few uh, uh, questions from uh, your Instagram about skin management as well. You know, uh, we're in, you know, fir firmly in summer here in Australia. You know, uh, how does that play into today's competition? Yeah, absolutely. Skin is one of the hardest things. I was saying yesterday, like these holds that the athletes are holding on to, anyone that hasn't climbed, it's like holding on to sandpaper. <laughs> and then you're sweaty and it's hot. And we're getting underway here. And then oh, you're leaping oh, to them as well. And you're sliding off like that. And first look at the women's boulder here. I'll come back to skin. Yeah, in a moment. Amanda looking good and controlled there. Yeah, Fantastic. Nice and Oscar was playing the crowd up. That's the way. Get a bit of energy from the crowd. <laughs> is, uh, is that yeah, you your... could see Oscar was definitely wanting to kind of uh, put on a bit of a show and find the energy from the crowd. Amanda found her own space. She was nice and calm in the background there, just keeping everything under control. Uh, oh, quite really solid nice. on that first move, Amanda, and, and looking, you know, looking uh, in in early moments here. Yeah, in, in very in control. Yeah. Not how I read that boulder, to be honest. I was expecting a both bit hands more. on number five and then swing across and leap into that hold that she was heel hooking. The lower the lower jug. Yeah, yep. but that looked pretty good. Went feet first. Would that, uh, you know that Amanda's a bit of a taller athlete as well, so that might not be something that will work for uh, some of the shorter athletes. I'm thinking something like. Um, a taco. Break that beta, you know, static it rather than the dynamic move. Yeah, it's, yep. there's no um, no time to think about what the set has wanted you to do as such. There we go, that was Let's more make I was thinking. Yeah, it's more time like for that. you to just exploit oh, everything that you've got in your uh, little kitty bag of tricks and <laughs> skills and strengths. Yeah, well, for the people who didn't see yesterday, we mentioned about it, Tom, that, you know, you'll see athletes sometimes just try one way and they'll stick to it. That's the way they've read it and that's the way they believe they can do it. And other people who do rotate different, you know, different bays if they think, oh, well, let me try another way. Yeah. As we've seen Amanda change. No right or wrong answer to that, really, or your opinion? Yeah, I think... Oh, very oh. good. It was getting a bit higher then. Yeah, I think basically every attempt, you want to be trying, le trying to learn something. Uh, obviously, if you get to the top, fantastic. <laughs> but if you're coming off, you want to try and remember, okay, how did that feel? What was my body doing? And, and try and adapt. And you'll just see small tweaks in the athlete's approach each time. So Amanda, on that second time swinging through, just looked like she gave it a little bit more gumption. Good shot of Amanda here. Now, like, would you call that move you a, like a, a lache almost, a, this, a, a just style of lache? Yeah. yeah, and she's going to have to try and coordinate to swing her body in to try and get underneath. Or oh, she's going back to that static method. Going Obviously yeah, felt yeah. a little bit better. Her, her foot's in the way of the big, uh, well, well, the jug there, while uh, Oscar, you know, nails that first move. He's, he's dialed that one, but that second move's giving him some trouble. Might be time for Oscar to just pump the brakes a bit, mate. 
Just chill <laughs> yeah. out on the attempt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's vibed off the crowd and uh, has uh, has uh, certainly put it into uh, overdrive. He is a young man, only 18 years of age, so he'll, he'll believe he's got plenty in the tank. But as you mentioned before, you know you've got to start to think and conserve and play the long game a little bit. It is a dual event, so if you are just joining us, um, we do have all the Boulder finals here, and then we will be after a small break straight into the lead. Um, in this same run order. And yeah. they're trying to just, you see her Come kicking on. her foot. That was looking kind of okay. More um, sideways a, rather than fr front on with the body, yeah, maybe. Yeah, trying yep. to just change the angle of uh, the swing and the swoop of her hips and body. Yeah. I mean, they're definitely magnificent looking boulders. That's straight out of the gate as well. But oh, yeah. Come on, Oscar. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There he goes. The He's crowd. going for the it. Jets are back on top. This the is a chance are... for an extra five points for Oscar here. He knows he can do it now. The five points makes all the difference. He's going for the ten, and you never know, depending on how quick he gets this. Oh. Oh. So my Amanda, ten seconds. Just got yeah. it. And Amanda. she's made a lot better there. Oh. Great oh, well effort done. from Good job, team. Gosh, oh, that great. just flew by, didn't it? It didn't yeah. feel like much time. Well, at all. you know, like you said yesterday, Tom, five minutes feels like oh, nothing, right. but four minutes oh. <laughs> even faster. Can't boil so the kettle twenty percent from nothing. <laughs> he almost stuck there, didn't he? Yeah, yeah that, yeah, that would have been close. a heroic catch. <laughs> I think he knows it as well. well and you can see the way his body's swung out so far away from the wall there. Just um, what I was talking about with trying to get that momentum into the wall. That's yeah. the direction that his body is just shooting off in, and we can see it's obviously not the quite the right direction. If he gets more swooped in, um, I think we'll start to see people hanging on to that hold and moving on to that next section. I'm really excited to see the mantle up onto this red box that's the next section for the men. The next move. Well, uh, arguably, uh, we should progress on each boulder as we go from eighth to first. And, uh, you know, that's the exciting part of how they put the, the competitions yeah. together. But we've got our next two out, which is uh, which is awesome. Yeah. Josh Menel and Ataku. Yeah. So, so Josh, um, as we touched on yesterday, obviously calls himself a a lead specialist, but um, actually did really good on the boulder um, yesterday, which was great to see, uh, with, you know, big energy yet character and um, performed excellently. Yeah, and he's just, he's a really nice guy. I've known him for a very long time. Taco, very good here. She's looking, is she going to go static or swing in? Swing in, she's looking. I think she's in. Yeah. That, oh, that, that was good, wasn't nice. it? Yeah. 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 I, I'm not sure whether the athletes are going to need to land the feet and the hands at the same time on that jump, or... Are they going to land both hands and do that like pure lache, yeah. as you were saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I hope it looks very physical, though. Eh? Ataco is oh. known to do a lot of very unique baits because she's a smaller athlete, very flexible, though. Um, as we see Josh oh. catch that. Oh, that was very close for Ataco. Josh, Josh has nailed this. that. Oh, Slippery heel hook. Uh, and I think that one's a dual text, but look at it, isn't it? So it is, yeah. You've really yeah. got to be accurate on it. Yeah, so the, the dual text, basically that meaning that there is textured part of the hold and then you can see on that purple it's uh there's the shiny bit on the outside and that is like standing on glass so there's absolutely <laughs> no advantage uh for the athletes on there and even as his thumb is swishing around trying to pinch that hold there's um there's not much feedback coming from it and also um, remember as well if you are just tuning in and very watching high. this um watching this climbing event for the first time. Oh. The shoes that, they, that we wear in climbing as well, they are a soft rubber slick base. Oh. So it's um, you're standing on glass in slippers, essentially. So <laughs> yeah, to add to Tom's point, that's another thing to keep in mind if you're not au fair with the climbing scene. Yeah, these are very soft, supple, sticky rubber shoes, but they have no texture. Bit of a bit of a brush there from Josh. And, Love to uh, see. Yep, making, making, oh, that was a fall that wasn't too great. Well, listen, you know, folks, if you're listening in at home and maybe this might be the first time you've joined or it's uh, been a while since you've joined a bouldering competition, there's 100 points up for grabs in the boulder round. And for each boulder problem, there are 25 points available. Uh, they get added to the lead score later on. Uh, and then you have a total which, uh, you know, add them together and that uh, determines the winner. But uh, for each attempt, you have, Tom, uh, a point one deducted. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly, basically. Oh, oh and we've got, we've got nice. dual action happening here. <laughs> it's Harko. Well, we, we said we'd see exciting. That was fantastic. Today. She landed it in no feet. It was just the, the pure arms. Come on, it's Harko. 
16 years right of there, age. mate. Oh, oh that was great commitment there. She'll feel confident. Hopefully, she's just going to chill out, chalk up her hands, and maybe give it you know, pull on with 30 seconds to go. So, what's that move need? It's a big sort of shoulder press and um, a gaston with uh, what do they call it? The scorpion flick. Is yeah. It, is that the, yeah. Yeah. Essentially, she's going to have to really fire up uh, with her right hand and her legs and body and everything, and then. Uh, palming down on the left hand. You can see the two holds that are either side of that red, we call it a volume. Really good coordination and timing there. Fantastic. Josh has pulled on for another on, attempt. Josh. Yeah, he, he looked like he was going to stick it in the last one, so let's come on and speak. He's that got a little bit... Oh, he's that trying to hit good. that stump, isn't he? Just missed it by an inch or two. And, if, and the, the distance for that left leg to travel to stomp, and it's around the corner. That's yeah, Taco again. So this far. is good. Now, you know, often with uh, moves, you feel, you know, you do it once and it feels impossible. Second time, maybe. Third time, I've got it. And then every time after that, you stick it. Oh, it's oh. go. Loses at glasses as well. The full commitment there. Loving it. Body on the line. Josh and back Josh up. Josh again. She'll never lose a smile, but she did lose the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Josh. Well done. Man. Great effort. Hey, great show Fair in front of yes. well, well done. Well, like, we can feel it, the, the vibe is palpable we can feel it up here in the, the, the box as well and you know uh, i'm getting clammy hands watching those guys down there so uh well done and we've got plenty of action to go folks so uh stick around a couple of the route setters we see there's all walking through the team are eagerly watching what they've created yes. and come to life and um well big shout out to all the volunteers there brushing and uh, helping out the route setters as well now Ben. I think this is the best hair on the, <laughs> at the competition. <laughs> He's made a bold statement anyway, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah the um, racing chevrons or <laughs> something yeah, like some, that. Yeah. <laughs> like an old Mustang on his noggin. <laughs> Uh, nice. That's a, it's that's a nice good. way of describing it, yeah. 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 He's great, he's Ben Now is uh, another big character in the scene. And um, if you're wondering where this is actually taking place, we are based in Melbourne today at Blackburn Urban Climb. And um, unbelievable facility, uh, you'll see the lead walls uh, shortly as well, but this is just a small section of this huge facility. It's a really phenomenal place, right guys? It's All great right. to see such professional like uh, uh, centres like this now in, in Australia. Yeah, it's one of the best, if not the best, climbing gym in the country. We've got the speed wall, certified full proper speed wall there, which I think is actually the first proper one that we've got in, in the country, yeah, which right. is amazing. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously this incredible plywood bouldering facility. It just looks absolutely schmick, and the lead walls are insane. I'm just, unbelievable. It, you, I've never felt so small. <laughs> you just you look up at those I have, things I and have <laughs> your <laughs> neck keeps on craning you, backwards. You, you keep yeah. going, yeah. Well, yeah. it's one of only two places in the whole country that have all three disciplines at full height, which is, again, you know, another thing that... Um, you know, good benefit. A few of these athletes are based in Melbourne, having this this facility now in Australia for these Aussies to train. And you know, we're only a skip over the road from New Zealand as well. It's great to have somewhere like this. Absolutely. Um, where you know, normally they have to split the training through number numerous places. And it's only just opened. It's essentially wow. maybe 18 months old. Yeah. This gym, yeah. I think it, it's um, it's very new. So um, yeah, really awesome to see. And I think as these things happen, there's. There's always a bit of a push from some of the other gyms because they are private facilities. Yeah, um, huge risk taken on board. And, and, and I believe it was, the, I spoke with the, one of the managers and they said, you know, it, was, it birthed from COVID dreams, you know, and the lockdowns inspired them to do something chaotic and we're grateful to it. And that's so, what Roxy. so Roxy Perry and uh, Ben Abel out now. So uh, the two Aussie competitors Roxy starting their... Uh, she looks really strong yesterday. Their journey. No. Oh, slightly different. Yeah, that was looking pretty good, and then it felt like just as she had that moment of letting go, she decided she might hold on for a half a moment longer. I'm going to say, it looked like she just didn't want to let go right yeah. in that spot. Yeah, that's okay. Hopefully, as you mentioned, she'll use that micro-learning and uh, hit the next one. Now, Ben... It's a violent catch from Ben. He was quite straight-armed on that. That's Did well to really hang on to it. Doesn't seem like he's getting his heel in as quite as uh, quite as solidly as he wants, and it's not a great heel looking heel-look anyway, so, you know... Like you said, there's not much to get on there. It's just a small bit of rubber to, to bear down on. Yeah, yeah it's fiddly, especially when you're, you're holding on to something and then you've got to put your foot where you're holding. Your hand is. <laughs> it's, um... His flexibility was great to see there, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I think the thing is as well is that we spoke about obviously coming out, there's benefits to coming out first and last. Obviously a little bit on a hold like that where people are 
matching foot and hand. There's chalk, there's rubber. There's a lot of things being applied to that small area. Um, wide brushing is really important. And also, you know, the psychological aspect. Come on, Roxy. Roxy. Excellent. Great, Great Roxy. Catch. This time is flying down. Two minutes left, Jess. She's it. doing it for Tasmania. <laughs> Come up, I think she is the only Tasmanian in the competition at the think, moment. So, um, yeah, yeah, doing it for a little Apple Isle. Well, let's see if she can pick. Oh, wow. That's really that nice. move. That's really nice. Oh, that. Amazing. Great work from Roxy. That's going to feel yeah. very good for Roxy. A massive confidence boost. Absolutely. And to be able top. to execute. Looks like, like the weight's off her shoulders there. That's a great start for Roxy. Really put a benchmark down a statement out. Very exciting. She's now, Keeping it all under control, you can see she's not hooting and hollering, <laughs> just saying nice and calm, bring it all back. No, knows there's plenty of climbing to go, but uh, that certainly got her off to a great start. Yeah, and a great way to save a bit of energy. Like you said, two minutes extra now, a few less attempts. Absolutely. Let's, let's see if Ben can feed him on that energy, because he is a, a big energy man. We see him really loves playing to the crowd as well. It nice is play. always hard when you're out there on the mats and someone else does a boulder and you're left out there. It's tricky with that foot in the hand again. Just trying to get it Extraction. right. Extraction. Yeah, that nice. was. It did look like he was almost pinning his oh, hand. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Ben. Fight he's it, got it. big on. arms and he's just put them to use there. <laughs> but right. it doesn't look like it gets any easier from here, to be honest, Tom. Well, here's What's the mantle no. that you wanted to the see, Tom. It <laughs> looks hideous. Very, very exciting. This is something that I love and uh, a real <laughs> test of the flexibility <laughs> of the athletes. Trust in that foot. Yeah, come on, man. They know uh, what's on the line. And he's going to basically just have to stand up. That right, the hold that he's going to, there's really nothing just in there. Just a pistol it's squat on that thing. Basically just flat. Oh, and another wall angle and, change. And there's well. nothing on top. He needs to push into it. Oh, yep. come on. Come just on, friction there with his hands. There's nothing he is holding oh. on to. Oh, that is knackering and gutting. But that's the best performance we've seen so far. First athlete to have stuck that 10 hold, so it's put him ahead. And he did and he did stomp that left foot, just took took a bit of that speed off and, yeah, and uh, this here. Oh, oh, nice and stop. high as well, which gave him the ability to have a bit of time. And as you mentioned about that being a nice jug, is once he took that, that movement off, he was able to apply the second hand and really hang on it. So um, really good showing there, but unfortunately, no top just yet. Here's a little temperature read, yes, um, 26 degrees in the... Well, it's pretty pleasant in here, though, doesn't it? It's really nice in here. I think this afternoon the, the clouds have come over and uh, cooled it down a little bit, but uh, now we've got our, uh, our uh, next couple of athletes out, yeah, which Emily is... Emily and Dylan, yeah. Yeah, yeah both, uh, again, both a fair bit of experience on the IFSC. Emily competed a, a number of times as well, and... Um, yeah, yeah, Emily only 17, uh, so quite young, but yeah, is stacked with um, with experience yeah, and on, on the international too, circuit yeah. as well, um, competing in Dallas you know, last year. Yeah, she was and really impressive. With the well, there you go. Year, She's too. just laying it down right now, not mucking around. Oh wow, yeah, phenomenal. And she came third in youth nationals. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. in the combined event, so she's going to be a good contender. She's got lead pedigree and boulder pedigree. Oh, thought we might have got a flash there. Dylan, Dylan as well. very nice. I was too busy watching Emily. I'm not sure whether <laughs> this is his first go. I, I think it is. I think it was his flash. I was corner eyeing it, but like you say, I was sort of blown away by Emily's near flash. Um, do you think it benefits being a little shorter or a little taller on this sort of a move? At this Hard point? to tell. He's done really well there. He's basically oh, stood up on one leg. And there you go. You see his fingers did not go in anything there. It's just flat. He's going to need to go up. I'm thinking really push up into the palm. Yeah. Here we go. Similar to yesterday's boulder problem. Um, this boulder looks very good. It's an absolute vertical wall. I got the little spirit level bubble out on my phone, running around having a look at all these boulders <laughs> beforehand. I can yeah. see the smile on your face, Tom. I can oh. see the <laughs> happiness there. You know, yesterday it was pretty easy to sit here and watch, and it was fun being in the booth, but sitting here today, I really would love to be out there on the mats. <laughs> the boulders look incredible. You can feel the energy of finals. Absolutely. Emily. Oh. Nothing quite like a finals. Like you say, the semi-final this day was intense, was exciting. But like you say, when it's when it's all on the line, it's put it in today and win. Yeah, it's um, it's good to see your energy. It's, it's nice to feel it. Yeah. 
That left hand little Come hold on. that he's got there is shocking, and he's just that tiny thumb jib there. Yeah, oh my goodness. I'll have to admit, I didn't even see. I this thought it was hold muck on the wall. Yeah, for. I thought it was a mark, and then I did that <laughs> observation. Totally missed it. It's that <laughs> small. Yeah, a very yeah. very delicate, low angle climbing, real trust in the climber's feet, and it's sometimes there's footholds that you stand on where you had have to have a very strong, solid toes. And sometimes you've got to have what I've heard being referred to as heavy marshmallow feet. Uh -huh. and, and when you're standing on those volumes that Max was standing on there, you've got to have heavy marshmallow feet, just really soft, gooey, like very placid foot and let the foot just ooze out through the shoe. And um, I mean, you're, you're really making it trust. sound delicious, Tom, I'll be <laughs> honest. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, yes Dale, he's got and, it again. And good he slowed that down tasty. a little bit too, you know. It, it didn't look so uh, violent on the way around. Come on, Dale. Yeah, he's very good in the air, Dylan. Uh, a little toe oh, hook wow, as well. Really Just nice. a little. Yeah. Very nice. Fantastic. Oh, well so that's done. a good that's feeling. Good. Yeah, when you've fallen off holding the last hold, it is an absolute just punch in the gut to just keep falling off there. So nice for him to just show up again, execute. And he very stop nice. on that. That was all one fluid move there. Yeah, and yeah. you can see that direction of his hips and body swooping in on that wall. Something that we didn't quite see from those first couple of competitors. And Dylan did that very, very nicely. Yeah. And, and if you're wondering, of Max course, Hill's if you're still. just training us, why there's no women's two boulder at the moment is that we did have the uh, Rebecca from New Zealand had to pull out unfortunately due to sickness um, so there is just um, an empty space you don't fill it with the ninth position it does stay true to the eight that made it now come on Emily yes 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 Emily absolute <laughs> the hometown of Canberra is going to be erupting with that. That's going to feel good. It was almost a, as well, a, a yeah. look of surprise on her face. Yeah. Like, I got it. That was awesome. Gonna and to do it on the buzzer beater, she did really well there. Absolutely engaged through the shoulders, which it looked like she was just a little bit missing last time. And she got some really good projection upwards as well. Look at that. Great. That's a great shot to take. Oh, never in that. doubt. That was fantastic. <laughs> never in doubt. <laughs> well okay. done. All right, well, uh, we've got uh, a couple more of our competitors. Now we'll have four on the mat at uh, any one time from here on in. Things yeah. start to get busy and exciting. Uh, and then the crowd will be loving it. There'll be, I'm sure, multiple tops um, as we are. Uh, and remember, if you're at home wondering right, you know, well, who's where, we've got the IFSC yeah, website. Well, let's, let's go check out the uh, scoreboard oh, now. Perfect, and um, we'll, uh, we'll see, hopefully, uh, where we're at with uh, all of the competitors because, uh, you know, I think we're, you know, making our way through uh, the bowl of problems. We might have uh, uh, a fair few of the competitors up and at it as well. So there, there you go, Dylan. Um, Dylan Parks looking yeah, very attempt, yeah. good out in front there. You can see the difference between uh, those climbers on 9.7 points, 9.6. That means yeah. that they got Making to that 10-point yeah. hold. All right. Um, but less four attempts, yeah. 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 And let's go to the, 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 the couple women. Couple of tops in the women. Couple of tops in the women. All right, let's get back to the action because uh, they're on the mat. Sam right. Lavender had a good bowl around yesterday. He was looking very confident in his very chilled demeanour. And Judith Carroll as well. They're both quite unflappable type characters, aren't they? And yeah, Sam was um, very, very exciting to watch. And um, yeah, got, got a little tip for him to, today. I think he's going to perform well. He looks really calm. Just yeah, they're uh, not people that I'd want to play poker with. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. very straight-faced. Yeah, that's... Um, Dialing it in right there. Amanda um, Speed, the, the start of this women's boulder two, looks very tricky. Yeah, we were having a bit of a uh, bit of a look setting up the cameras, and I was, I was uh, very curious how this would be started. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be tricky. Sam again, finding a little bit of... Um, oh, trying to find room for the heel with the hands and everything. Oh, nice. She just did a little... Little nice little to toe yeah. hook underneath there, a little bicycle. Yeah, really nice. And these are those dual text holds I was talking about again. You can see what she's holding onto, the kind of blob in the middle has got a bit of texture on it. And then the outside of it, all the shiny kind of part, uh, again, just feels like slippery glass. And it's just another way that the, the root says in climbing can test all the skill set, you know, the different styles Sam. of holds, the slopers where it's that open hand grip, you know, the smaller crimps we're going to see. And it's, it's really interesting how, they, you know, you can test their athleticism oh. and also 
you know, different types of grip strength. Nice Judith. Judith landing that one. That's a um, that's a comfortable terrain for Judith. She also competes in the Ninja Warrior comps yeah. and has been on Australian Ninja Warrior, so she knows her way around a little day, swinging around on bars and coordinating <laughs> that kind of movement. Well, that looks a bit good too. Yeah, yeah. It looks like she had a good height, good bend in that top leading arm. Maybe she, I think she just hit it just a little bit off, off yeah. there. But okay. Amanda, and this, this is difficult. Now, is so that full texture, that one? Or is there no, just no, on the left it, just side. Just on top. the left side. Basically, everything past her palms um, on the right hand side there oh. is slippery as. Bit of a anything. knee thing here, maybe. And uh, oh, oh, wow. I can not Amanda. Come much on, of a hold on. here. Just oh, yes. thumbs. Phenomenal. That's got to feel good. <laughs> Maybe well a cheeky knee bar from all of the outdoor climbing. <laughs> I think uh, I think we did see one there, Tom. All yeah, right. That's fantastic. I was going to see Sam and Judith start their attempts together again. I was wondering whether this men's boulder, there was going to be a cheeky start with going uh, face facing out. out. Yeah. Because sometimes that's a pretty good thing to see. Sam looking to match in on it. Not, not really. We didn't see him kick that foot out last time either. So, uh, you know, Judith, nah, Judith, easy territory for Judith again. She may have, uh, she may have uh, learnt enough to nail this this time. Like you said, she was high enough. A belt, bent elbow, back yeah. on the wall. It's tricky too. Those two footholds that he's on there, they're quite bad to begin with. And, and then the yeah. setters have put these <laughs> slippery little blockers around it as well. So you've got to be extra accurate with your feet. Okay, Sam. Here I we think, go. I think maybe, you know, you might have to be a small amount of, uh, of a status to be a, a, a root setter. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for, for finals anyway. But There's anyway. <laughs> certainly times where you're just on the mats going, what on earth is going on here? <laughs> what did you want me to do? And this is another one where it's quite important for Judy, like the, the you know, the wear on your body off the both of them with these oh. big bouncy jump catches that hurts yeah. and this is one of those moments where she's got a choice nice. slowed it down just slowed it down that's great she, judith's just gonna have to put that boulder nine behind seconds. her yeah. nine seconds Five, come on sam four, quick mate you've three. got time but you gotta go no, yes. that, that's uh, not going to count. No, he didn't. That's not going to count. He's needed to have gotten into that controlled position before, before the, the buzzer, buzzer went. And unfortunately, he's missed out by one, one and second, a half seconds. Yeah. Oh, and break. I really hope that that doesn't bite him later on because that extra 15 points could be massive at the end of the today. Yeah, that's a little... Uh, that's another one where he's going to have to put that behind him. That, yeah. Just beautifully climbed. He just did. a second too slow. So yeah, but like you say, he's got to take the positive from that, right? You've got yeah. to go back, push it off, say, hey, I topped the climb, I did it as intended. I, you know, I, I proved I can do it. Move on, top the next one. Oh, the fight. Easier said than done, though. Yeah, well done. absolutely. Yeah, super top effort. Right. Josh Metal coming out for that slippery slab. Campbell Harrison and Mayer coming out for the first time today. And uh, Campbell, Campbell, uh, you know, big scores in Boulder yesterday as well. And uh, let's see what he's got today. And yeah. Campbell says, despite what it may seem, he's actually not a natural blonde. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like one of his teams. He's a legend. I would never have been able to tell. I don't mm. think Josh is a natural blonde either. <laughs> Well, yeah, you can see he's he's trying to be accurate with those feet, and it's not easy. Oh, he's got the Maya's got that swing down. Yeah, nice. very nice from Maya. She knows her way around these moves. She's very good in the bouldering. Mm. Only um, the next one. Oh, 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 fantastic! Well, there you go. Was that her yes. flash go? Yes. Was that I a flash? So, yes. yeah, yeah. I was watching in the corner Business. and uh, and there's the first time. Attacker's going to try this screen here again. We saw Amanda get on the third go. Let's see what... Oh, it looks like Attacker was going for the same kind of foot sequence that Amanda did with that, the right foot clamping underneath the volume just to try and find that point of balance. You need to show the judges balance. In control, she's done nice. that nicely. You need to show control with all four limbs before you start moving off further into the boulder. That right yes, foot exactly. that she's got there, that's basically no texture completely. There is a tiny little dot of a little bit of texture on it. It is 
that's a mean foothold. Yeah, she's got great body control, so she's just got to try and do what we, you know, they refer to as the attack or better, something unique on a good flexibility. Come on, attack her. And that's the thing good. She's got to get over and maybe get in that little knee bar that Amanda found the other day. Just a little knee scan on the side hand. there. Campbell, Campbell looking very time. good. Campbell stuck that 10 move. Yes. Come on, come on, attack her. Campbell just taking a moment to chill. Mantle over on that box. They've both found very strange rest spots, Attacko and Campbell here. Yeah. On, he's yeah. got that little heel hook in yeah. there that helped. I think it was a toe hook for... For Dylan. Yep. Oh. Oh. Yeah, a little bit taller. So, when, you know, we discussed it a little bit earlier as well, Jess, obviously. Oh. If it helps being tall and short on some of these. And That's a difficult thing for Attacko there. Being in that position is very strenuous. It might have looked like she's just kind of sat there on her foot, but there's so much body tension. That's going to take a while to recover from, and there's not much time left. Ooh, come on, Josh. Trust in the feet. Josh has got the very... The uh, last sportiva theory climbing shoes on, nice and soft, so he should be able to move his feet around on those volumes quite nicely. Yeah, well, yeah. you're talking about our marshmallow feet before. That, that, that's a good visual. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, you know... Uh, how do you practice that? Like, you know, is that part of uh, is that part of training, or is that just reps on the, on the wall? Yeah, basically just standing on these things and getting as comfortable as possible. Okay, Please. Campbell. Oi, Josh, finding it hard. Campbell's back up, having another crack. This might be his last attempt, really. Very okay. high on that arm. Horsepower and strength is not something that Campbell lacks. Yeah, and the tackles secured the start as well, just working her way back up there. Come on, the tackle as well. He's Come on, Campbell. Oh, yeah, he's oh. Oh. He's got to find something that his right foot. He's got, he's it. got it. He's got it. That's oh. going to oh. help. And it looks like the tackle's about to try that move again here as well. It looked like a little power scream on from <laughs> Campbell as he was matched on that. A oh, wow. yes. she, she found the knee bar. Yes. Yes. Too easy. <laughs> she could have matched on a five cent piece there. <laughs> that knee bar looked bomber. It, oh, it yeah, was hands well off, wasn't it? It was the. Well, that's fantastic. So, we welcome out our next group of athletes. The energy Matthew is Pye, absolutely Campbell, awesome here in the urban, urban Climb Blackburn. And uh, fantastic. The, the athletes still coming out. We've got plenty to go. Yeah, well, that's interesting to see Amanda and Attacko both top that second one. Great, great for them to get more points on the board. And this is the first we see of our top-ranked athletes coming into this final round. Max and Pear and from Western Australia and Oceana McKenzie from Melbourne. She would have slept in her own bed last night. It would have been nice hanging out with mum and dad and her yeah. sisters. Yeah, and, and like you say, although a small thing because it's not an international one for most of these athletes, by the two New Zealanders, that, that benefit of, you know, like you say, your own accommodation, your regular routine, um, can, you know, can play a little bit of fact, especially yeah. like someone like, oh, she's been travelling so much well, this well, year. She's, she's looking uh, pretty solid here. Even, so, chalk bag on, on, on the bowler problem, taking it with her, maybe thinking she might need to stop or, or something on the way, but she's definitely looking at cruise control. Oh, yeah. Nice Come and on. easy. Never in doubt. <laughs> Cheeky look. Yeah, well You're going to count that? Yeah, we'll count that, Ash. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll well, that. She shared the experience and, and with you uh, a few years ago as well, of course. And, uh, and Roxy. Come on, Roxy. Looking good here as well. Roxy looking for some balance here. She's maybe wrong looks like herself there. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like she's got herself a little bit on the wrong side there. Max not sticking the jump in the background there. Is just with that, move that one's made. been difficult so to, awesome. to dial in for, for the men, that first move. We haven't seen many of them do it first go, but second or third dialed in now. Very nice. Fantastic looking shirts, some. these new Aussie shirts. Too. They are good, yeah. Unfortunately, um, the, the uniform truck. Oh, Max, what are you doing, buddy? Get that <laughs> heel hook in. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, the uniform truck showed up just after the athletes started competing yesterday. Uh, there was all sorts of issues in the docks <laughs> for um, everything to pass customs and all that. So, yeah, the athletes got a nice fresh kit for today. Nice feeling for the finals, though, for sure, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah we've got Ben Abel down on, uh, I think it's men's... Uh, Ben's pretty... Num number two. Pretty good on his feet. feet. 
Yeah, he's, he's look, look at that. He looks more in control than we've seen so oh. far. Well. Oh, I spoke too soon. Tricky thumb. This boulder, it looks very hard. It was probably the... I thought the hardest looking boulder of this, this round. I, I might be proved wrong <laughs> later on, um, but it, it looked tricky. Really, like it, it, the slabs often are a confidence mm. thing. Yeah. I feel like with the the strength and power boulders, you can kind of just grit your teeth and get through it a little bit. Just to hold on tighter, but yeah. Yep. But the slabs, you've really got to be feeling confident with your movement. And what do you think here, Roxy's got the wrong foot on, or she's um. Oh. I she's sticking think with it. so, because it looked like the other competitors, if you've got right their right there. foot on, then their right hip could twist in, you could be facing a different direction, and then that uh, smaller of the white blobs, the second last hold, could be used properly as a side ball. Because uh, remember, just the left-hand side of that, probably the left third um, of that second yes. white blob has the texture on it. The yeah. rest of it is... Completely it definitely unusable. looks more natural the way we've seen the Ataco and Amanda do it, where they were, yeah, had that other foot around, their body position looked more comfortable, and um, yeah, hopefully Roxy will give that a go now. Oh, yeah, you know, prove that both ways can work. Well, Ben's got this bottom part dialed, and uh, it seems to be where most of the competitors so far have uh, not made it through this foot swap. It's almost like a blind, or like you said, um, a very delicate foot swap on uh, that triangle. Uh, and they're quite subtle angle changes again. So when you know you're looking at these walls, like as we, uh, you know, I do sound like a broken record sometimes. But some areas are deceivingly overhung, some are deceivingly slabby and negative, and it all plays a factor into these. Uh, the Roxy, oh, she's yeah. holding on to that no texture <laughs> bit there, and using the screw hold maybe. Feeling like, like going that right leg though. Yeah, this is. Yeah, she she didn't obviously try different beta. She's going for that same foot over and over. Obviously felt like there was something oh, wow. there to be gained. Yeah. Not a good start for Max, unfortunately. Not really getting on with that. And how does that, you know, like you said, a few of those tops would be great confidence booster for those who got them. But Max, uh, you know, coming out in, uh, you know, first place uh, from yesterday and not getting a top. How's he feeling, Tom? Yeah, that's tricky. So there's a lot of confidence that some people can get from coming out in in first, basically, yeah. being like, yep, this is me, I'm here, ready to do it. But it can be a bit of a weight on your shoulders as well, and you think, well, far out, I'm in first, it's all to lose. There's only one position, or, you know, one way that you can go, which is, is backwards from there. Um, and you don't, maybe don't have the, the bit between your teeth so much. Yeah. Um, but also, maybe he's just not thinking about it at all, <laughs> and he's just going out for a climb. And ideally, that's what you want to be doing, is just coming out here, not thinking about what happened yesterday. Today's an entirely new day. It's, it's all to play day. for. Yeah. And, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Just do your best. There's definitely the two ways of looking at like you. Say, hey, I'm in first. I can only possibly go backwards, or I'm in first. Everybody knows that they have to give extra. We might get the, the scoreboards up now and have a quick look. Well, we'll oh. I oh, know they're bringing them out. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll get a chance to quickly look at the scoreboard and see how everyone's travelling. Dylan Parks and Campbell Harrison with those tops. The only ones so far to top that boulder. And Roxy Perry looking very good. And the taco. taco. Yeah. But uh, they have had a couple more boulders. Obviously, the, the climb is coming out. Um, well, I was there with the full 25. Uh, yeah, yeah. Attempting a few boulders. Um, and we see, like we obviously mentioned previously, we're just jumping in now. There's 25 points maximum for each of the four boulders. And each attempt takes you a point one off your total score. And um, also, like you say, that shows that Osh coming in here, one attempt, one top, maximum points, maximum rest, minimum exertion. Yep, yep. So it all, you know, not just topping them saves you that, it also saves you wasting Well, it all adds up, right? If you come out and you're top in 30 seconds, fantastic. You get those extra minutes. Four times that is uh, a lot more rest. And well, that just compounds through the whole day, the whole weekend. And, um, yeah, you, you kind of very much rewarded for getting getting things done quick otherwise it's, you're, um, you're doing it the hard way uh, yeah, Campbell's yeah. definitely someone that can right, folks, just right, keep on punching in those efforts I'm constantly just amazed by how good he is at just fighting his way through a real battler and it's really awesome to watch yeah yeah all right well uh, we're back in 30 seconds and uh, uh, giving the competitors just a small break and uh, away we go we might uh, we might, uh, we might see uh, a four more competitors back out on the net in just a second.
but uh, we've got Max out as well. It's going to be great to see these boulders. Max jumping on M3. First we've seen of that. And they are back at it. Max Thomas, closest to the crowd. It looks very hard, and this is going to be one that will drain the juice out of the athletes. It's going to be um, a real test of your tactics. Uh, I read it from the ground and thought, this is one that you give two or three strong attempts to, because otherwise you're just going to be um, just going backwards, wow, I think. Emily's looking very good again. Very in control. Ooh, Look at that, she's found the right position. Yeah. Has, has she found the uh, the knee scum yet, she, or the little knee bar? She's not done that. She needs to just come over to the right. Maybe she, she goes, it. doesn't need it. Floats wow. up that thing. Wow, good top. Fast. There you go, under a minute. There yep. you go, Jess. You see, yeah. Yep, an extra three minutes up her sleeve to go rest. Yeah, back-to-back -to -back tops sure. as well. She must be feeling absolutely fantastic. Okay, now come on. So let's see how Dylan, remember, currently flashed the uh, sorry, second dot, the first climb. And let's see the first attempt on this one here. There must be a fan or something going on just next to that boulder because everyone's hairs looked majestic just <laughs> flowing in the breeze. I do believe there is one down yeah. there. And uh, I need more than a fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is, yeah. A little bit cooling, keeping the temperature manageable. So, yeah, this, this black one I looked at, and obviously not uh, not your root reading skills, but I did look at it and go, oh. And that was my that was my outcome, was good luck. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty spectacular looking, and um, I, I was really interested to see how they, they get on this one. So there's a lot of coordination and strength between the right foot and pressing up into these hands, and that left nice. hand is a nice edge. Max making it, making it work. First scoring one. Plenty of moves off the ground, actually, and then three in a row, three scoring moves. It's now they catch the top that I was That's wondering. That's the dual text we're talking about. You can see the shiny black, and then the, the chalked up white section is the textured part. And that's all quite slopey. There's not that anything edge or positive on that. It's big compression-y kind of thing as you're trying to stand up into it. Yeah, it's horrific. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dylan finding, oh. he, he was looking pretty all right there. He's opted for a nice, flat, soft shoe as well. Yes, it's, I think we've seen, like, you know, we sometimes see a variety. You mentioned yesterday that how you, we're seeing that trend of a lot of climbers switching more to these softer styles. And so far today, I think every one of them's come out in this, uh, you know, various brands, but very soft shoes. I think, I think uh, Tom, that marshmallow foot is going to stay in my mind <laughs> every time I stand on a... Heavy uh, marshmallows. <laughs> heavy marshmallows. Oh, it'll be my mantra when I'm on... Uh, on those volumes, that's for sure. But Max here and uh, Dylan oozing around the corner. There was that slight angle change we were talking about yesterday. The women had a boulder here. Um, so between those two panels where he started and where he's coming, it, it changes by perhaps 10 degrees, kind of a bit of a blunt arete. Yeah, really difficult angle. Like you said, we only saw, I think, one top on the, on the women's climb that was on that corner. This, um, yesterday. And, and you watch Max there with his hand, he's slapping up for that hold, slides off. You could just see him greasing off, the, oh. you know, losing a, a full, you know, a millimetre of skin on the in the process maybe. So <laughs> this is that skin management that we were talking about before, like obviously muscle management through the, all of it, but the skin management as well for a, a session this long, Max calling it, I think that's a oh, smart oh, idea. Oh. Yeah. So um, yeah, the athletes yesterday slapping around, I, I saw a few of their fingers at the end of the round and like you couldn't have taken another layer off and you'd have seen inside the fingers they were so <laughs> raw so thin on the skin so the athletes today would have been warming up that looked interesting from dylan potentially yeah the going a little bit faster around the, the corner time speeding up maybe yeah. as a benefit yeah I'm you got to stop thinking and just uh, let the body climb and um, sometimes yeah, so you do see that at the at the you know the final <laughs> countdown of the clock people just uh, fly up without too much overthought yeah yeah, so the athletes probably would have, um, at least in my experience, you tape up your fingers for the warm-up. Absolutely not wasting any skin, so everything gets mummified, and then you're climbing around, and then when it's go time, that uh, the tape comes off, yeah. and then you've not wasted any skin through your warm-up. There's a little pro tip for you at home as well. There you go, yeah. yeah that, because, makes, that makes a lot of sense. Even in your social competitions, yeah. if you're doing them as a casual climber, little, little tip there, don't waste your skin in your warm-ups. Um, I've so. even seen it where athletes have taped up 
their finger like for a lead route and they get up to a certain point and then rip the tape off <laughs> and then go. Is it's that like, just for Jamaica effect though? Yeah. <laughs> Who <laughs> knows? I mean, that's be. pretty awesome. But yeah. Well, uh, we've well, got a man. That's so interesting. We've got Amanda and Oscar out as well and oh, Judith. Uh, Judith in the background there. Boulder three for the women looks very brutal as well. There's a nice little jib for the undercling with her right hand at the moment. A little screwed on hold just to add a, a little bit of extra help for the athletes because they are very slopey holds on a 50 degree overhang. So very steep. So let's see how Judith goes Judith again. One of the two females good. again. Holding on to the no texture part and going for that left foot. Oh, nice. Hops it up. Giving that a hug on that right. I love it when uh, <laughs> when you've got to just wrap a hold like oh, that. Oh, very good. Yeah. yeah, that was that was fantastic. Well done, Judith. And that removes the you know the non top on the last one. Now she can yeah. say it. Let's see if Sam. Sam's another great slab kind of patient, but it looked like he was almost around that uh, yeah. that transition on that arete there. So. I do tricky, think it, I tricky think thing with slabs as well is that it can be very difficult to work out what the um, what the sequence is, and it, I really I, I look at a slab and go, okay, cool, that's kind of the general vibe, and I'm going to get on there and just not quite close your eyes, but just really just listen to your body, feel it and out, feel it out, yep. and there's subtle twists in the direction of where your heels might be facing or the hips or something like that. You play around with those little things and there's kind of this little choreography and dance that you just sneak your way through. And I love the speed of a slow slab and you've just got to, you're on the edge of your seat, your <laughs> edge of the foot my breast is once you get that yeah, click. He makes it sound so delightful, but you said, <laughs> so true. And then also, like you said, that, you know, when we saw Dylan do it a little quicker, you said we're so conditioned and also we crave that slow slab tempo that you know, sometimes mixing up like like Dylan tried there could, could be, what a little trick that we said of set for you to make it a little bit more fast. Whether it's slow, whether it's fast. Yeah. And oh, it's a good spot here, yeah, Sam. Strong in the legs there. He's found this foot match a little tricky. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. I'll give him it. <laughs> we just want to see points on the board for everyone today. But no, that's um, that's the furthest progress we've seen so far, though. Yeah, that looks really good. Let's see how Amanda goes here. And I think yeah, when he, when he, when he said Amanda, nice. That looks good for Amanda. A high foot and maybe a toe hook in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yes. Guys, yep. And work your way up to the left as high as you can. I really struggled to read a sequence when I was looking at this from the ground. It was very uncertain. As and there's two oh. deceiving wall angle changes in the middle of the climb. You can see where the panels change colour, but also on the corner below. Oh, it we too. missed that. He's made it over. The, it was just on the top of the screen, yeah. And he was um, looking very good. I think I, I did think wonder whether there was going to even be a top on this. I might get proved yeah, wrong by several yeah. athletes, which I always love being proved wrong. <laughs> yeah, oh, proved wrong in the right and way. Delicate. I just want to say, maybe, maybe. listen to your description yeah. because he's doing exactly come back like down that. And swap the foot over. Yeah, he's yep. standing on something quite bad there. You can't quite see it because it's a red hold as well, or at least. Yeah, I'm colorblind, so maybe everyone can see it maybe very easily. No, no, we can't, Tom. We but, can't. Uh, like, <laughs> like a heel or a frog on there, just a oh, oh, hands yes! free. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wowee. Good job, <laughs> Sam. That's the ultimate comeback after topping with one just one second after the buzzer. Yeah. Um, ultimate way to good. answer. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see many tops on that boulder. Again, maybe proved wrong, but it's a very delicate, tricky thing. Oscar not Good getting Oscar. well, not getting on well with the um, the presses. Well, one of the one of the great things on uh, all the competitors' faces, you're seeing uh, smiles and uh, you know um, they're, they're having a bit of fun, but they're taking it seriously at the same time, which is awesome to see. But. Yeah, how good is that? Look at that. And I'd encourage everyone, when you're watching the men on this boulder or anyone really, when they're on those kind of delicate slabs, having a look at the limbs that aren't actually holding on to anything. So you see Sam's yeah. arms just giving him balance and just trying to kind of find that balance point and helps movement and all that. And the legs will be doing the same thing. So uh, it's a good little tactic to, to try and employ when you're jumping on the boulders. Yeah, just because it's not holding something and still gym. being in, it's still a valuable piece of your arsenal. Yeah, yeah. counterbalance. In such, steep yeah. terrain, you're definitely still flagging, but um, it doesn't ever feel quite as necessary. Uh, and But on a slab, all of that comes together. Sure. We'll and see I, a tackle to this one now and Maya to Maya. Maya. Women's two. She's climbing confidently. 
Yeah, she looked very good on the first one. And, oh, oh, nearly held it just back. Just a little pop and back at her, not have much trouble on that. Okay, Teko, second shot here. And Maya was very, very good on the first but, ball, the problem, yeah. flashed it. And again, she's so experienced, so time, but again, 16 years of age, it's always uh, one of those things that surprises me, you know, how composed she looks and fantastic athlete. Yeah, she came second in youth nationals in the combined event in 2022. Very experienced, despite that young age. Just trying to sort of way, yeah, agree. yeah, trying it a different way. There you this go. is there kind you of go. the traditional method, we'll say, that I thought would be. <laughs> so you've got to find that body isn't? position. The right foot's just going to kind of twist around a little bit and see if she can get comfortable. Oh, wow. there. Right, yeah. The right leg just that looking really for that balance. is incredible. Oh, oh no. Not she chose to sort of try and get all the way over top of her hip on and like with her knee, maybe yeah. the you know, maybe a bit too far to the left. Yeah, we saw Campbell just stumbling at that same point as we've seen a lot of people so far. So much action happening. Well, pretty well halfway through the boulder round, folks, and uh, there's been some awesome tops and plenty of action. Much more to come this afternoon. We'll have the lead which brings it all together. The Boulder and the lead scores will be added together and we will see our champions, uh, the Boulder lead combined champions this afternoon. Make sure you hang around for that. But right now, nice and strong it, from Josh there. Yeah, good, good. Josh is actually at university or he's uh, studying mechanical engineering. Um, I always love seeing the athletes that are kind of looking at doing their best on the in their sporting life and also um, study. At the same time, Atake and, and doing it, something a little different here too. Yeah, yeah this is looking cool. Ooh. I say, that'll be very tricky from there. But yeah, interesting to, like I say, to see the athletes trying uh, different things and adjusting and Campbell's really taking his time. He's, he's, like we always discuss his unlimited engine and his lot of attempts, but he's only given this one two shots so far. Um, so really just trying to read it. May are going to try and find that body position this time. Looks so close before. Maybe just wedge that thigh in a bit because she's got that little bit of a longer leg. No, she's rocking over more. Minute to go. Whoa. Oh, wow, she I always cringe more. when I see. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Happy, she happy, had. happy. She got I into think, that. I think uh, relieved is the, is the face on there. Yeah. <laughs> Very happy. Got into that a little bit faster too with just maybe a little bit of energy left. Yeah, All so right. Campbell, I think this is on his Campbell's pair of limbs just swinging around there, looking for those balance points, counteracting. Come on, Campbell, come on. It's basically changing your center of balance. Oh, it's a bit speedy, there you go. 20 seconds is probably going to be last attempts here. Taco has been given the five points for this boulder, so she's going to be trying to get to that 10 points. Obviously, a top would be amazing. Might not be the time for the top. Uh, yeah, I think we'll find uh, so. was, it, was it your call, Tom, on, on uh, women's three? Maybe the hardest one right. of the round. Yeah, absolutely. Hardest in a couple of ways as well. Obviously, it looks like a very burly, energy-draining uh, boulder, but also one that you could get kind of... Um, but like those first moves, you kind of can just hang out there for yeah. a little bit too long, and that's going to drain you. And I think... Um, that it's a real danger when you're you're on those kind of holds. You, you can just kind of hang out in a very strenuous body position for just a little bit too long. And it's just and ticking down that energy. Yeah, yeah, and you can just watch that energy bar just deplete, whereas you almost want a hard move that's on or off. Yeah, um, yeah. Rather moving. than just, yeah, just it's hanging a, out. It's a fantastic blend of different styles of climbs we're seeing set, you know, that's really, yeah, we've seen that incredibly patient slab. It's more dynamic sound now, this sort of overhung power. It's, it's yeah, been such able, a blend. Very good at the hard stuff. And we're going to see uh, Max, here, age, top, Max here, top screen, just about to take on, um, you know, the first, first place he needs to take on the slab. So let's see if he can, uh, you know, get himself back in, yeah. in, uh, in the zone. Yeah, top here would be very, very valuable. Oh, she's established now. Ben Abel just finding that tricky as well. We've seen everybody take a good few attempts to figure out this starting sequence on male three. Oh, she looks good here. 
Oh, not short on flexibility. Very good move for legs. Yeah. That looks good. She might be a little bit bummed with that first little slip, but I think uh, she's no, no, got a bit of room in the scorecard. Be a little thing, little thing for her to just keep in mind. Okay, Max is in a good spot here. Ah, oh. uh, it's funny too on a slab because you fall off or you, you kind of pop out of position, and it's a very slow fall. You saw him just go, ah, oh, bugger. But he was there for another almost yeah. two seconds he on the wall. He knows it's happening before <laughs> it happens. You're yeah, off. Yeah. There's no <laughs> fighting it to come back or anything. No. Yeah, it's so good. Well, it's I did see on, on men's number three, you know, uh, my little take on uh, maybe instead of going up with the right off the good hold, go with your left because it, uh, it's a, it looks a little bit better on this other angle. Mm. Uh, and, and keeping uh, the right hand onto it, just your feet first. Well, I don't know. Oh. It's, uh, it's easy to call from uh, here in the box. That's have you got sure. your shoes on as well as Tom? Uh. I'm just checking you both. Uh, the both. It'll be just me this afternoon. It'll be just them uh, two down sending. I'm finding myself moving <laughs> in my chair, feeling like I'm climbing as well. But uh, <laughs> Max finding that position. Come on, Max. Not quite. Roxy pulling on. She's had a really good start to the round. She'd want to try and keep that momentum going. Yeah, it'd be interesting um, at the been end of these to catch the scores. And if you are wondering at home where they stand, jump on that IFSC website. You can see all the scores live as well. Um, we will bring them back to you in a bit as well. But um, really advantage Sam Lavender at this point on the second. But um, yeah, it's really even the field up and everyone's struggling on that third, both women's and males. Um, yeah, Roxy looking for that heel hook there. Just feeling a little bit like um, she's just going to be swinging off. It's quite tricky because basically that that wall just wants to swoop the women off. <laughs> swing you out and about. <laughs> yeah, swing hard. And that basically it was uh, only a hand or the heel hook that Roxy had in there keeping her onto that hold because number five is absolutely not possible to hold on to without some opposition. Well, well, yeah, on those volumes, there's only that one tiny black foot jib on the underside. The rest of them, there's no holds, right? So it's... I think we saw Amanda, uh, you know, get in position quite high with the, with the toe hook and the heel at the same yeah. time. Uh, work quite nicely, but... Come on, Max. So 45 seconds left. Ben, ben looks in a good spot. Oh, oh I think he heard me. Not short <laughs> on a fight. He did try it, yeah. Come on, Roxy. So powerful. Come yeah, because Amanda got a heel... He'll hook up nice and high. high. Yeah. Yep. Um, a little bit of extra height, perhaps. Oh, nice. Nice, Roxy. And hard shoulder move. Mm, it gets ten. higher. Gonna... You think stay engaged with that toe? Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, it might almost be that they need to match. So she had her right foot on that little jib on the underside of the number five hold. She might yeah. need to match feet once she had that black gas done. Uh, oh. so Max so, runs out of time. So yeah, not, just not the, working that out either. Just the one top on that male number two, and that's all athletes through that. All right. Well, folks, let's uh, let's check out the scoreboard so far um, and uh, find out where we sit with the competitors. This is the halfway point, or almost, or thereabouts. Sam out yeah. to an early lead. Oh. That's a that's a strong lead too. There's you know, good four points. It may not seem like much, but... Yeah. And uh, two seconds longer and he'd be on 49 as well. That's the thing, you know? That's very true. Yeah, yeah so really, really dominant performance, Charlie. Dylan Park looks really comfortable as well. Um, you know, Campbell and Ben, who, um, you know, potentially are early favourites uh, for the comp, both battling away. But, yeah, it's true, very interesting. And unfortunately, sort of lower down the... The, uh, the scoreboard here, Max, hasn't really unlocked it this morning for his first two boulder problems. Yeah, exactly. But right. he still can come back with, you know, a, a couple of tops and, and that will put him in the 50s plus. Exactly right. But, Plenty uh, of time. And plus, the, obviously, the whole lead 100 points will be added to this to find the, the champions of today. Yeah, things can turn around very quickly in a bouldering round yes. if, you're, if you're able to just see what happens. Wow, much then, closer in this female division. Tom. Yeah, this is going to be very, very good to watch because this tightness in the bouldering, we 
bring that to the lead and far out we're on for a show. <laughs> it's going to be very, very exciting. Hold on to your hats, folks. It's going to be absolutely nail biter all the way to the end, that is for sure. So it's and we, fantastic. We do still have Emily Meyer and Oceana to take on that third boulder as well, remember, as well. So that might put a little split up things. Um, as we saw Sam Lavender in first, he still has that, uh, Max, they still have that third boulder as well in the locker. Um, so, yeah, really so many twists and turns ahead of us, right? Yeah, Do absolutely. Do not go anywhere when you're home. <laughs> well, folks, uh, we're in this amazing urban climb, wow, Blackburn, so well done. And Melbourne's put on uh, a decent show of it here with the weather as well, so we've, we've been treated uh, for uh, this weekend for sure. But why don't we uh, see if the team can put together a few highlights of maybe some tops uh, so far. But, uh, Tom... If you're sitting out the back there, you've got a little break right now. What are you doing? If you're uh, if you're in the zone, anything special in the middle of uh, your competition? Are you changing things up or are you just sticking with the plan? Uh, we'll just see how the plan's being played out. For me, I probably might have a little portable fan and just cooling down my fingertips because keeping that skin just cool and dry, that's going to give you... Um, Better friction on the holes, yep. having a little drink, just chilling out and just keeping things nice and chilled and composed. I'm going to be in my own headspace as well as we see the you, action. You do ooze calm and confident <laughs> as a personality type, yeah, your persona. And I think that that's what's always obviously <laughs> benefiting. I think they could take a big, big slice of that, yeah, stay calm out back. And, um, well, it's just a matter of being you. So for some people, they want to find a bit of energy from other people and really just like we saw Oscar getting pumped up as there was that little time delay at the beginning of his first boulder and he was just feeling the energy it was oozing out of him and he was just being him so um, big ball yeah it's been some great action already and we're yeah, only really at the halfway point of the boulder so yeah, yeah it's um, could one want to be anywhere else would you Jen? Oh, I, tell you, I tell you what this, uh, this weekend's been playing out pretty nicely and tomorrow we've got speed as well so oh. It's oh only going to get better, I think, in this afternoon. Like you said, it's pretty close in those scores. Oh, yeah. And Hedge the will bring it. going to take it home. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And, and for the, sure. the next boulders coming up look absolutely magic as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing the women's four. That's going to be good. And, uh, yeah, the men's four as well. Just like... Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's uh, Roxy. She was... Uh, Loving this slow motion. You get to see <laughs> everything just a little bit more kind of... Um, you've got time to digest, basically. And we can really break down... What's going on? Yeah, such a myriad of skills has been shown by all the athletes, really. It's um, yeah, quite a testament to the rounded skill set that they have now at this level of climbing. You know, it's not just, not just climbing. It's this athleticism, this power, this dynamism. It's just crazy. And we saw Dylan here. He looked so smooth on this. All right, we're back at it, folks. The action is back on the mats. The competitors are coming out. You got your wish, way through. Yeah. We're about to see these fourth boulders. <laughs> Good times to come. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I was asking the setters before, how long are these boulders going to be up for? It's like, oh, well, they, they are going to be reset tomorrow. He's like, oh, my <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can hang around a bit later tonight yeah, and give we'll it a whirl. To, um, yeah, they looked so good. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. I mean, obviously, very difficult, and um, you're not a, a normal a normal human like ourselves, but I was going to say is a lot of people, they might think, oh, well, gosh, they're just too difficult. Um, and, yeah, the, the route setting team's goal is to have this whole facility reset by next Friday within six days. So if you are a Melbourne local or if you're somebody who's going to be coming in to try the gym, um, yeah, you've got about four hours, I think, to try them. But basically, yeah, don't don't fret. This whole facility will be back to normal climbing by the end of next week, which is um, all right. It's incredible. a massive undertaking to yeah. set up for one of these comps. Yeah, yeah it's huge. Incredible. Not Here only the Emily. setup, but the pack down as well to get everything back up and running. Emily looking good at the beginning there, nice and yeah. confident movements. She swings out to that oh, big that purple. five point. Yeah, yeah. I'm loving the confidence that she's got in her climbing at the moment. Yeah, that's great to see. Really good work. You can just see a she's focus that, there on near side as well. Got the toe hook in there to force against the um, gravity. Basically want to swing yeah. her off. So Dylan, I mean, yeah, again, another very talented climber. But you do see him. Uh, he looked very good on boulder one. Um, let's see how he goes on this one here as he gives it his second shot. Could suit his sort of style here. And obviously we will get that small delay before we see women's fall with um, 
with the if you weren't present earlier, there was this. Rebecca who has had to pull out through sickness. The coordination of that number four. Yeah, it's incredible. It looks great. <laughs> Come on, Dale. Oh. Here's Emily. Uh, Emily trying using that small the jib on there. Yeah, the yeah. underwear, yeah. Just tried it and now we're just going to pop that foot. Okay, okay. Yes. This is the best we've seen so far. She's in. This is yeah. where... Oh, she, she almost... There well, we go. There's, there's that, that match. match. Yeah. And maybe a heel up on, on the volumes or something like that as she goes across. And, and is it, you know, right all the way over to the 10? That's, I, that's I'm looks thinking heinous. so. Yeah, it's a really vicious oh. shoulder roll there. You're going to have to be very tight. I'm going to say, you're keeping your feet in position there is going to be impossible. Another great thing to see here in the crowd, um, all the Guam athletes who performed excellently yesterday are, are all sticking around and supporting as well, which is great to see. And uh, we've seen a lot of the uh, athletes who um, took part and didn't quite make the finals. Uh, they are just off camera, but it's so much camaraderie here today. The male and f um, female athletes really supporting each other. And so uh, awesome as well. Um, shout out to Michael Quitugua. Um, he's only been climbing for 11 months. Wow. And here he is on this wow. stage. Yeah. Like, it's just incredible. That's so, fantastic. Yeah, it's a, a new thing for him, and he's um, Didn't look out of place up. either. Yeah, yeah. He, he looked very confident. Wow, Loves incredible. flying FPV drone as well, um, which must be a pretty awesome place to uh, be swinging around on the FPV. <laughs> Oh, That's the uh, the drones that you, you put the goggles on and you can do all sorts of crazy Well, we thought it'd be kind of cool to try and put it into the uh, live stream, but uh, we weren't allowed to fly them around the people, which is fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Emily, again, she's going to look for that foot match. She's going to have lots of tension nice. there. Nice. Yeah, absolutely nice. winning. Awesome. Wow. Oh. Well, and I was chatting to one of the root setters and they said, from the 10 onwards, it's just a wrestle. Like, they're just going to wrestle their way up <laughs> those... those <laughs> <laughs> those volumes, which was uh, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, she's a, one of our top junior athletes at the moment, coming through our youth programs. Uh, she has won one youth events um, at nationals. Oh, very yeah. nice! Oh, oh it's incredible! Yeah, we got Dylan. That's, That's big for really Dylan. Nice. Really nice. It is a mind-blowing thing that a lot of these climbers aren't even old enough to drive yet. They're you know, yeah. flying around these walls like no man's business. It's incredible. Yeah. Well, that's oh, a great, great top to for see. Dylan. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. That, um, and Emily even getting that 10 points there. Huge for the, the grand scheme of things for both those athletes there. Well, she's the, she's the first female athlete to get the 10 on that one. Yeah, we yeah. saw how tight that was. So that's absolutely huge. Yeah, and Max just finishes his boulder session now, so he can switch his mindset to the lead and uh, it's a bit of a short break for him. So Amanda coming back out for her final boulder of the day. And we'll get to see uh, this women's four, which, um, yeah, I was watching the root setters test this one myself and, um, yeah, I'm very excited for this one. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit spicy fun. Yeah. All right, this is our two Aussie, two Kiwi pairing. Let's make some noise! Sam Lavender and Judith coming out, and Oscar and Amanda. Well, yeah, if Sam tops this one, he will be technically all three tops. Of course, he'll be only rewarded for two. If he <laughs> did miss it, he was a second late after the buzzer. I think that's rubbing salt into the wound, Ian. <laughs> well, I mean, I still think incredible effort for him to, uh, to top them. Absolutely, fantastic. Though, but, but Have yeah, a look at this start hold for the women's. The it's big actually blocker. blocked yeah. inside that pocket. It's just mean, because otherwise that's a very nice hold and everyone loves it. You get I, all four fingers in there nice and deep, but I yeah. saw them swap the, to this hold and I think it was like an evil villain uh, giggle between them all. Or, <laughs> well, the cackle perhaps. Well, stroking um, yeah. a fluffy white cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> all Come right, on. well, there's a bit of a kick over to the 10. Hoik. Uh, he's big. Uh, they're going to a good hold there, but yeah, it's, um, it's actually kind of steep. About 20 degrees. That wall that they're on. And it looks like you can only get one shot at the, at the release. So you can't do a swing back and forth. It's a one shot to, yeah. to the other side. One and done. Yep, one and done. Judith with great body control. Let's see how she goes here on this one. I'm trying to use trying the sloper. Yeah, trying to do it a little bit different. She's a little bit stuck there. A lot and of the other girls have ended up doing that, um, the right hand up on the, the, I guess, the third of those black banana looking things. Left hand pops underneath to the, the second banana. Yeah. Um, Underclean. And Sam Lavender, a minute in and still not on a physical attempt on the boulder. I think he touched the holds, but here we go. He's going to give his 
first shot. So this is what I was talking about, that um, just give it, get as much information as possible before leaving the ground and just give it two or three very high quality attempts. Yeah. Maybe uh, just one high quality attempt. Definitely taking um, a leaf out of your book with that one, Tom, exactly right. Took his time, limiting his attempts, and can he? You can he, see the strain going through, but Judith looking good there. Yeah, come on, on women's number three. She's, She's got her foot floor. up and the Gaston. She'll be looking maybe to match match the feet, perhaps. Oh, that's uh, it. And that's that position where I was talking about, again, like just hanging out in a bad position, but it's, it's enough to just kind of hang there for that's a while. And it's like kind of just holding in a 90 degree squat or something. Yeah, and I guess it's because they know what's coming next is that <laughs> horrific tent hold and then go, like you say, wrestle to the finish, Jess. So, well, I think, yeah. uh, I think sometimes you, uh, you find a hold that, oh, this one's better than the next one and I, won't, I don't want to leave it. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, it's tricky here for Oscar. He's um, trying to find the flow on this dynamic movement and it, it's hard. Like it, the, the sequence is quite obvious oh, when you have done as much climbing as you have um, or as he has. Uh, so he'll know what to do, but just coordinating it. Yeah. There's so much speed going on. So you can see him here. He's going into his toe hooks, drops down, actually, down climb for the first movement, and then swing through. And that's climbing. For me, I haven't done these sorts of moves for at least 18 months now. And when I come back to them, just as a little sprinkle in every now and then, I feel so uncoordinated. I can see exactly what needs to happen but it feels like a baby giraffe trying to walk. And, and I suppose it's really, uh, if you get some miles up or some practice in, really your body just needs to feel that and do that uh, over and over again to be comfortable with it. Yeah, absolutely. There's a degree of that kind of understanding your, your body in the air. Come on, Judith. Judith. Sam's back in that spot again. So this is his second attempt. He looks comfortable on this all this time. Hang that left foot Second right. and last yeah. attempt. There's no time left. Judith. Still that, yeah, Ten he's points it would be massive here for Judith. Not that would oh, be looking a little bit disheartened. Oscar's given it everything. Seven Come seconds on, to go. <laughs> Oscar's, he's giving it into the Oscar's jump. getting the most out of his competition and then Come on, the crowd. Mate. Come on, Oscar. Oh, <laughs> he's not shy on the ball ring as well. He's climbed a couple of V13s outdoors, so he's... He has proper pedigree. These boulders are hard. Yeah, that, that's a mean thing. Judith on one of the earlier boulders there. It's that beautiful ninja lache move. Yeah, and we see back to Sam as well when he stomped that. Little pedal. Nice. Okay, back live here and. We're going to see Josh try his final climb for the day, and Campbell's going to take on his number three. And then Ataco's going to try her final climb for the day, and Maya may be the first one to top this number three. Big call, Ian. Big call. A lot, lot of climbing in front of her. Yeah, the way she's been climbing, though, she's looked so impressive. And it would be a very, very good thing to, to get that top because it just starts to give her a little bit of distance from the rest of the crowd. You mentioned the tackle oh, will try yes. unique betters sometimes, but looks that like looks very good. I'd, I'd back her to get through on that. She looks very nice and floaty and in control. You can watch some athletes and they're trying to force that, those swings, but yeah, that looks natural. Maya, yeah, just really Maya looking good well. on uh, on three, swinging yeah. through the playground. Speaking just of natural, <laughs> yeah. wow, come on. So will she do the match? Oh, slightly different. I think she's going to look for that. I think it's just a little too small to match and, match and remove. So. And this is just draining. Yeah, you've got to make yeah. that decision. Looked uncertain on what to do with that left mm. foot, really. Just searching around, do I smear here? Do I put it on that? And do you keep the toe hook in? I think that it's mm. a long way down, but maybe. Come on, Josh. Oh, oh, she's trying to hit it straight away. Josh is a taller athlete, so he might be able to find a bit of um, launch from there, but the, the athletes are very strung out in that toe catch. I was wondering if there was a bit of a, uh, a bit of a, a jug on the other side of that, but it's not. It's it's <laughs> it's a slopey nose. It's oh, a, oh very okay, we're almost good. landing it. It's Looks a, like almost that right foot needed to be just a little bit further, kind of along to the right. I mean, she landed that foot, uh, I guess, just before her hand in that kind of center line, 
and that gives her not as much ability to control the swing. The swing. If the foot goes a little bit further, yeah, there you go, yeah, and a little, yeah. it landed a little and jumped more, again. Yes. That was yeah. beautiful. Coordin oh. Coordination jump for the that last move. Now, did she go from the higher foot there? I think she went from low, but... Um, yeah, and Campbell's might. really struggling with the start on this number three here as well. He's uh, giving it three or four goes. Um, he's a so battler, though, and yeah. he's, he's got that strength. So I, I back him for having seven attempts and still getting up the oh, burliest man. boulder that the men have got on offer today. Oh, Mayo unlocking this now. That's where... Yeah. Oh, I was just about to say that's where we saw a high point from before. Try just the skip. And yeah. athletes, uh, oftentimes it takes a couple of attempts to work this out. The tackle's really oh. just skipping that next, the foot stomp, and just really just leaping right past it. Yeah, once they once they know what to do, you, it's just easy for them. Yeah, really. They've nice. got the confidence and just know know the path that the body needs to float through, and they hit it. May have taken a good rest. Come on, Josh. One minute on your final boulder and a tackle too. Let's see, let's see if we can get them both to that. that tackle. The crowd enjoying it, getting right behind the athletes, which is awesome. Tackle with the big swing. No. Oh. I'm loving. Have have a watch of that right leg that she's swinging in the air there. Uh, it's very nice, and that's where her momentum is coming from Check for this move. Come on, get it. Good proper start. Perfect. Watch this leg, and it swoops kind of in and out, and then that that gives her the ability for her hips to really swoop in. And finishing that position. She just tried something a little different there, bless her. Oh, my still. No one's got to that 10 hole just yet. We have had one we competitor get to the 10. Oh, we did. Uh, and I, I believe it would have counted, so. You're going to say, didn't I? If that's counting, then yeah, sorry. No one to the top yet, and we have one competitor left. Osh to take it on. Beautiful movement there from Otako. I have uh, a good feeling about her for the future. If she can stay psyched on climbing and just enjoying it, she's got a lot of natural movement there. And uh, she's got very she's supportive only... parents as well. Yeah. And, you know, just lovely, the lovely people, and she's absolutely a lovely human as well. And um, also her preferred discipline up next in the league. So, um, yeah, she's put a decent, decent spot here, a few tens. One yeah, she's only 16 years old, oh, so yeah. this is um, really exciting to see for the future of Australian climbing. S starting to see some real depth. Well, we couldn't believe it when we were commentating the, the national finals on uh, Sport Climbing Australia's YouTube still. And um, yeah, like the finals, the seventh position was 15th, uh, I was 15 years old, six was 16, 16, 17. So many young female uh, climbers coming through. It's great to see Oceana here on Women's Street. You can see her having a think around what needs to happen. She looks like she's just going to try and swing over. Yeah, she did. Look at that flexibility. Just the weird reverse drop knee toe hook wow. type thing. Wow, wow, wow. That's incredible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> flexibility. Fantastic. And the show woman. We, yeah. Come on. Let's finish it up. Nice. That is awesome. Well done. A little nod to the crowd. There you go. Well done. <laughs> That's going to put a little bit of daylight between her and the rest of the girls. We saw them all just before that break. They were all around that 49-point mark. That's given her at least 15 points between herself and Emily. Come on, Ben. There we go, Ben. Ben knows his way around a coordination, and this is going to be good as well because we haven't seen. Oh, fun looking move there. Yeah. We haven't seen much um, action at the top and of progress that one. on this boulder. No. Uh, so, this would be absolutely big for Ben if he can get that. It's going to. Oh. And let's see how Roxy goes because she's a um, very powerful, strong climber as well. So, if she can get to that final move. A couple of inches taller than a tackle as well. Might be uh, a little bit more in her wheelhouse to finish this climb. Max and Pear just struggling a bit. He was oh. brought down there before uh, a not a regulation start, so that hopefully that doesn't mess with him too much. But yes. he's looking so good here. Fires you up. Yeah. Well, Max is looking very good. If this must be hugely oh, good for valuable. Position. Come on, Max. Come on, buddy. Come on, Max. Oh. Yes. Excellent. Find your toe Come hook. On. You need to oppose this. That Come on. finishing hold is not good. Yeah. Well done. Massive. That's 
that's going to be a good confidence boost for yeah, him. So absolutely. Sigh of relief, a bit of happiness. Yeah, I think that, that does take, that that's unlocks the shackles, feeling. takes yeah. that pressure off. Now, come out and top boulder four. Yep. Put yourself Brings right it. back in the mix. Well, I think he heard me from the uh, commentary box here with my beta, so I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pick that one as a win for me today. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jess, send, <laughs> send the invoice later. <laughs> ben, palm on, down, ben. stop! Oh! Well, uh, minute left, Ben, one shot. Uh, Tom, you mentioned it yesterday, you know, the skill of uh, the dismount there. I mean, he, he did a, a 360 in the air and landed on his feet. Ben is someone that I just shake my head every time watching him dismount. He has the, the wildest ability to do this 360 kind of leg tuck thing. No matter what position he's in, there you go, it's watching. always... <laughs> and he tucks up into his little ball. It's fantastic to see. There you go. Well, he knows what to do now. If he's got enough juice left in the tank, we, we may see a top. And he's gone. Oh. Uh, he's another one like Campbell, though, who will just keep persi you know, persisting. It's his last bowler problem. So, uh, and uh, certainly I'm sure he'd like to see 25 uh, points up there if he's got something left. Ben Cl climbing out of the second. Nomad Bouldering Gym up in Sydney. He does a bit of setting there. Originally from the Newcastle, just a couple of hours north of Sydney. I know the castle. Come on, man. Come on. There we go. Oh. Said it before you celebrate. Well done, man. Well done. That was good. And Nomad Bouldering Gym. Newcastle are going to be erupting the Steel City. Absolutely. Well, that was a buzzer beater, and it was only a few seconds before the end, but how good is this? Watch this, folks. <laughs> it was, it was they wanted to celebrate before he secured it that I liked. I yeah. think he almost uh. drops the foot or something. Oh, yes. look at that. Oh. They actually slip. Yeah. yeah. You can see him sighing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> done, man. Well That's well going to be done. massive in the rankings oh. for yes. him. Yeah, huge 25 points to take away there. Oh, yeah. 23. With. Um, with bouldering be, being Ben's preferred discipline, this is where he really needs to have a round that, you know, shines. Yeah, for him. gets him out and about. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he he's put in a lot of work in the the lead climbing in the last few years. Really leveled up, but he's definitely more confident on the boulders. And yeah, we'll want to be getting the most out of his performance here. We'll see how we go with that, folks. Why don't we take a quick look at the scoreboard, gents, and see how we're travelling along because uh, certainly a lot of action in that round um, for those two few bowler problems. But there you go, uh, Ben and Dylan uh, up the front there. Yeah, you can see Dylan having topped men's three. That's given him a little bit more daylight there. Yep. That's looking good. And Max, you know, with that top before, um, you know, a big comeback. Yep. Yep. Moves moves him and like you said, Tom, up. it's not over. I mean, it can change so fast in bowler competition. Absolutely. And yep. when we get to the lead route as well, like that might look like, you know, nine points which maybe sounds like nine holds uh, on the lead route but actually not the way that the scoring system works these days that might only be a move or two yeah, yeah. and that's you've got your nine points so and, um, i well, mean we'd still have campbell to get the fourth boulder but also a lead specialist as well so, so still there you to go play for. It, there's there's no certainties yet folks so it's uh it's going to be an absolute nail bite like we I'd said love before to, yeah. love to see where the women are at with yeah. that because ocean emily and um maya very tight they're still Osha's put a bit of daylight in with the top flash yeah, of point women's one three. between the next two though look at that second that, and third that's very exciting but if you look at uh, you know let's say second third and and fourth uh, and even you know in uh, in fifth there Roxy all within shooting distance and and probably even Judith uh, We're still, depending still on with a boulder to yeah, go with yeah. a boulder to go uh, you know so it's certainly plenty of uh, plenty of uh, action to decide the full three um, as we move into the lead this afternoon. Oh, yeah, phenomenal. So we've got a little bit, le little bit left to go where uh, the, the athletes are just having a little bit of a break and, uh, you know, three quarters of the way through, Tom. <laughs> what, uh, it's been nice this afternoon, actually. Not too hot, but uh, out the yep. back there. What do you reckon about the athletes? How are they sitting? Yeah, I think everyone will be feeling pretty confident. I'd be pretty happy. If I was any one of those athletes, I'd be pretty happy with how I've gone. Um, Everyone's been fighting hard on the wall, and that's really what you want to feel like. You've just, you've given it everything. Yep. And, you know, it might be um, yeah, a good chance to just 
put in a little bit of food. I know Emily's yeah, keen on bananas and muesli bars. They do little <laughs> yeah. snacks in between. <laughs> do um, you eat that during com enjoy. competition? Yeah, I like to just snack on something like, you know, for Emily, the, the banana and muesli bar. Yep. Um, I know Campbell's a fan of the um, the Cliff Bars as well. Yep. And it's just like something you can just take a bite or two of. Not um, too much, just to keep uh, yeah. just to keep a little bit of energy going. I'm a big fan of like a, a rice kind of dish, like a maybe a stir fry type thing. You can just <laughs> take, you, you take can have your a, back lunch. I was yeah. just going to say, most people turn over a shoe bag and some chocolate, turn over a walk. No, I, I'm a big fan of planning a lot of good food for these days. It's massive. Yeah. But you know, this well, is the sense. level of the spot that, that you're at, and the, you know, this top end of level. Nutrition right. is a huge part of, of, of athlete, you know, being an athlete. So. Yeah, you can't run a V8 without petrol. No, that's, a, no <laughs> that's so true. Emily here uh, on, on Emily. Women's Four. It's her final bowl. The problem, let's see what she's got. Yeah, she's looked really controlled today. So let's see how she goes on this one. Ooh, just sussing see the it out. Big just skid mark out. that she left down there. But yeah. let's see how. So Dylan looked very good on number three. Just checking something there. All it right. can be total carnage on your shins and knees on those sorts of jump moves. Um, you, you go over and the foot slips, and it's just it can be full face plant carnage <laughs> down the the front of the hold. Well, Come Dylan, Dylan uh, retired himself there from the, the previous uh, attempt because he did uh, uh, self, uh, self assess that he uh, hit the carpet on the way through. So uh, well, good sportsmanship there, Dylan. Well done. But uh, the only two athletes out now for these last two. Yeah, but still plenty to be, uh, to be admired, that's for sure. After watching Ben's attempt on that last one, and we're still just waiting for this first top here. Ben was the only male so far to yes. um, to make the dyno and get to the 10 and the 25. So nice oh. closer, closer. She's got to find that little body position there. Dylan, no slouch in the bouldering. He's the New South Wales state champion, reigning state champion at the moment. Uh, yeah. So he'll have a bit of confidence from that. He did well at our, um, our state, uh, national bouldering as well. And the youth, uh, youth world bowlers as well. Great yeah. performance in there. Yeah, seventh at the World Youth Champs yeah. in 2003, and that is absolutely stacked field. Emily making that uh, that uh, dyno. Let's see if she's kind of similar. Ooh. Oh, she had really good height compared to a taco. Generating yeah. a lot yeah. more. She seems to be a lot higher. Yeah. A little bit more powerful in the legs. Good coordination. And then Let's see Dylan. Dylan oh, just in the there we go. And uh, you know, every time you chat to every time you chat to Dylan, he's just full of beans. And um, well, we know it's not over till uh, till well we all saw, the way through. We, <laughs> so we saw Ben not till both hands on. Yeah, <laughs> he's really? looking for something different here. I think the method Ben used is the way. Come on, mate. One minute. Oh, wow. that's one of those situations where again you just. You, you're just draining the energy bar and he really needs to just make a, a quick decision and go. You've really got to have an idea of what the sequence is before you leave the ground. Obviously, things can change a little bit, but you've got to make a quick decision because otherwise, we saw him there just hesitate for a good 20 seconds, yeah. kind of halfway going backwards and forwards and... Trust in your body instinct and... Just go for yeah, it. go for it. Okay. Especially for a move like that where you've got to explode. Yeah, he's very good at that. Very good at that style. Oh, come on, you've got a bit of time, mate. You know exactly what to do. Nice, nice. solid hand plan. I think he just got to go. Oh. Yeah, he just got to go for it. Nice. Left Real reaching for that clock. foot. There's, there's three limbs having to change uh, change holds all in a sequence. Oh, uh, all like a, I think he knows his time's up. An extreme in. game of twister. <laughs> <laughs> well, another change again where unfortunately Emily wasn't able to secure that 10 point there. So... Um, yeah, but Dylan did get the 10. Yeah, Emily got the 10. Oh, she did? She yeah, yeah, she was jumping off to the top. Oh, yeah, but all, she went high, yeah. All happens yeah. so quick, yeah. doesn't it? Looking at yeah. just left reaching for that toe. Trying to get all three points coordinated. Glance the clock and he was done. A bit too, so uh, here we see Sam and Judith. So again, Sam... Uh, Sam's very strong. good as well at this type of climbing. And Judith as well, she's... um generally climbing at the Skywood Climbing Gym up in Sydney, and Yossi is one of the setters 
here. That absolutely, there's going to be no... Um, <laughs> it's a team effort for all of it. <laughs> yeah. um, there, there's no bias or anything like that happening. But, um, yeah, Judith being very good at that this style of climbing. Um, obviously, that ninja stuff we were talking about before. Oh, um, really first shot, Sam. And, and with Yossi being on the national setting team and really high-quality setters that that sky would climb in gym, she's used to performing on these types of boulders. Yeah, great reputation for setting, um, you know, great comp style climbs. And that's the thing we see, the more competitions these athletes do, as you, you experience, and the more facilities you train at, the better you learn how to deal with different route setting styles. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you know, you'd never go to a climbing gym that feels like another, really. It's yeah. quite unique. You would think if Judith gets over to the other side, being a little bit taller, that top move might be a little easy for her. Okay, Sam on Sam. the float. Looking good, mate. Again, a bit taller than Dylan, so... Oh, that was looking good. If if I was... There we go. Good job. I was about to say, I'd be picking up a brush. <laughs> you called it, Tom? Yeah, I went for a bit of a climb today just before coming in. I, I got too excited yesterday, and I, I was decided, oh, I'm going to do a bit of work tomorrow when I get a bit of time off, which was this morning. Um, but I was too excited and had to go for a climb. I needed to burn <laughs> off a bit of energy, but I was walking around the gym, and no one's brushing. And I... I sidled up to a couple of the, the people there and was like, hey, do you want to make this feel two grades easier without getting any stronger? I'm like, yeah, that'd be awesome. Grab your brush. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it's cake. And facili short. facilities all have communal brushes there now as well. There was brushes everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's Definitely one. more brushes than brushies. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that's what I was talking about. That absolute... Oh. Cropped a bit of the forearm on the, the boulder on the way where you can lose a bit of skin. And, yeah, and, and they're uh, they're quite harsh, those uh, those volumes, those fiberglass volumes like that. Yes. 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 He just looked cozy on that one. Really. He, he wasn't travelling that fast. It just it looked very comfortable and, and uh, yeah, very some, in flow. Sometimes it, you just it's a jump, but you do it in slow motion yeah. just about. Yeah, Falling you, up it, I've heard, I've heard be <laughs> Yeah, you put it in 120 <laughs> frames a second and you just float <laughs> through yeah, the air. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And, and that was just a, an absolute masterclass in how to move dynamically and, and coordinate the bop, 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 bop. So, yeah, it looks really good. Judith, still on come the on, mats. mate. Nice. A minute She's got to go. find that coordination with that leg. Ataco had such a good... That was looking good, but she, she almost looks shy now to commit, Some, you have one of those falls. Yeah. Um, and you back off a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And, and then it, that compounds to actually being even worse for yourself because then, you know, you need to fully commit. You can see the setters in the background. They'll all be taking notes. They all looked a little bit nervous going into it all, but, you know, <laughs> confident. <laughs> oh, I think they've done well. To, to be honest, it's been it's been pretty good all round. It looks... Uh, yeah, and, I, and we've—I mean, we've had a gl glimpse at the uh, lead routes ourselves as well, and uh, they <laughs> look incredible. <laughs> Far out, yeah. They um, are both of them. I just—they look awesome. The setters have put on a real show. That's great to see. Come the, on, Judith, uh, big commit. The, oh, oh and she was leading with the left leg there, trying to uh, maybe land it a little bit differently. That, that, that might work. It I'm going to apologise to Judith because I did say that I thought she'd go well here and I've jinxed it, unfortunately. <laughs> Still 18 seconds. Commentator curse. <laughs> oh, it sometimes yeah. happens. Come we, on, we've mate. been the masters of it many a time. Yeah, come on, Judith. Oh, oh yeah, she's just... She's looking a little bit the fall, stiff yeah. Yeah. in her I think, upper body. I definitely think, yeah. You've got to really... You, know, you can see the, the bend in the arms there and just not really flowing through. Flowing sometimes through. you need to have that tension in yeah. the arms. Sometimes it needs to be straight and just, you know, like you're uh, just floating in the wind. Well, we saw a great example with Sam and we're just looking at it again here, how he just looked so comfortable and calm. Very casual uh, through the yeah. air. It just looked like he knew he was going to get it all yeah. day long. Yeah. And you can see the, the determination on his face as well as he starts charging for that hold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Campbell just, uh, coming out casual now. Wave. Okay, Campbell. Last bowl Campbell for Campbell. Campbell. Yeah. So, yeah, obviously he, Campbell probably needs this one just to put him back in uh, in that higher upper echelon. Maya very close to the top. So um, let's see how Campbell goes here. Maya, another one of the local girls. She's a Melbourneian. Awesome from Campbell. That just is very good. Smoothly through that first move. Yeah, very good. And the sport climber in him bringing the chalk bag. Just a, <laughs> a little moment to chalk up. Ooh, Maya oh, Maya sticks it as well. Really nice. Oh, 
Come on, mate. Let's see the top. Campbell, little. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, my goodness. And she hit that really high, two bent arms. Points. That looks Very great. Very good, yeah. Just yeah. a little bit too far out with the body. Needs to be a little bit more direct. Sometimes you've got to pretend that there's like a, you know, you're, you're almost on like a, a flying fox or a tram line. And you're just nice and straight up into the wall. Uh, she's kind of like left reaching for it all as she was falling away. And Campbell, there was a little head nod from him as he hit the ground going, yep, I know I've got yeah, this. I know I'm this. getting it, yeah, which is, yeah, he's, uh, he's confidence personified that gen. Well, yeah, you could see his body as it sort of curled in and unleashed in that bottom move was really efficient. It was fantastic. Let's see what he's got. Come on, Campbell. Oh, oh. did he change his beta up then? Yeah, that's, um, that's a heavy fall. He's one of our most... Uh, accomplished international climbers. Uh, spent a lot of time on the World Cup circuit. Cool, Campbell. Oh. That looks good. Predominantly a lead climber, but definitely does have his showings in the bouldering as well. Yeah, well he's, some great, he's had some great finishes in the lead as well, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's made the semi-finals four times now, um, which I think that actually makes him the first Australian male since 1997 wow. to have made a semi-final in the lead, which that's is just awesome. It must have been Garth Miller, I guess, <laughs> maybe yeah. in 97. Oh, that's a, that, yeah, that's a wow, blast from yeah. the past. A throwback. Yeah. And, and oh, Mayer. Excellent from Mayer. And that was before Mayer was born, I think. Mayer was, wasn't born there, yeah. She's a um, real professional. When we, we interviewed her before, and... Um, yeah, she just takes her climbing so seriously and yeah, it just shows that well done. She got a Come nice on. nice bit of height. Come on. Man. Come on, Campbell. Yeah. Yeah, very oh. good. <laughs> He's definitely a bit of a popular that, athlete. That means a lot for him. Yeah. yeah. Campbell means business. <laughs> Look out for the rest of the male yeah. field. The this guy. That eye. <laughs> He's a um, very, very popular athlete wherever he goes, but in his hometown here, the roof just lifted another meter or two, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, he's another fella sleeping in his own sheets yeah. through oh, the competition. Really nice. Good, good adjustment. Well done, Maya. Amazing. Yeah, only 16 for Maya, and she just looks so calm and confident. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, well, here we go. On our end. Well, Max coming off the back on the top of the third climb. So, um, yeah, you know, again, hits this fourth. And certainly won well within his, uh, with his uh, Let's see how Osh goes range here. as well. Oh, oh so, Osh. so strong. And she, <laughs> um, yeah, she used her strength there. It was kind of not really good movement from her. Too easy. Absolute <laughs> win. Just willpower, willpower. Amazing <laughs> height on that. Her head was just about above the finishing hole, so she matched there. Five attempts, four tops, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, well dominant done. performance. Yeah. yeah. That's Absolutely. going to give her a lot of breathing room for for leading into the, um, the lead. Well, let's see if Max can bring it back now. Well, again, it's one of those things where it's nice to just have it in your palm of your hands now. She, you know, she knows Osh knows. Foot slip. She hits the top of the lead wall. She knows she's won the Done. won the competition. Yeah, yeah no. it's just about a perfect weekend for her. Yes. Um, yeah, have a look here with her foot. A lot of the other athletes have kind of hit and then bumped the foot again just to that. Yeah, it just it didn't, the in, foot yeah. didn't quite bump as far as it needed to, which ended up giving her that sort of weird pogo situation. You get to have another chance to, to look at it again. Yeah, that's... Obviously, she's still exceptionally good and, and, <laughs> yeah. and does an incredible job. Um, yeah. I, I kind of only joke. Well, if that's, the only, if that's the only critique you can have and still yeah. a flash, you know, exactly. Yeah. Um, I she's think that's in good spirits. Yeah, exactly. A real natural right. climber and uh, another one that just... You, know, you can just see the determination and love for it in her eyes. Well, when you were the Olympics winner, she was only 16 years of age, right? So Yeah, a little bit older because it was uh, two years ago. She's 20 now. Just maybe, I think she maybe just turned into 19 at the Nationals. Yeah, but she was, um, yeah, obviously got a lot of, um, a lot of experience already. She started competing on the World Cup circuit when she was 16. Um, made bouldering World Cup finals, which... Sam Berry, uh, I don't know what year that would have been, but she was our last Australian female to make a bouldering World Cup final. That was yeah. early 2000s, it must have been. Uh, but yeah, Osha's done it 
multiple times now, constantly in the semis. And uh, she, had, she had a, um, was it a finals just recently, wasn't it, I think, um, over at um, one of the recent World Cups, she had a, yeah. uh, a very good finishing. Yeah, she's, and she um, was 16th in Bern in the, the World Championships, which was actually in that combined event. That was a chance for her to uh, gain her Olympic ticket at that competition. So the way that the Olympic tickets have been handed out um, are through continental championships. So there's Asia, Africa, Europe, Oceania, obviously. Uh, here we go, Max. Come on, Come on Max. Very good. Uh, and then there's a, a series of tickets being given out at World Championships. Come on, Max. Reset, mate. Yeah, keep yourself back in position. Just take a breath. And see a little bit frantic here. A little bit different, I don't yeah. know if that's going to work. And with 30 seconds to go, that's going to be hard. Yeah, so the Continental Championships, one ticket male and female, so one per um, for both the lead and boulder category and for the speed as well. So tomorrow we'll be handing out tickets for the speed climbing as uh, well. winners. Yep. Um, at the World Championships at Bern, there was two tickets, sorry, three tickets given out, so the podium of the combined event. That was the event that Osh came 15th in, uh, which was flipping incredible effort. Uh, and yeah. then there's going to be a, a qualifying series, which will be like its own little kind of World Cup series. Uh, and there's another six or seven tickets given out there. And that ends up being, basically we'll have 20 uh, climbers. All, um, all with tickets. Yeah. All, all with tickets. So there's 20 male, there you go. boulder lead, 20 male, speed, 20 female, boulder lead, 20 female speed all so right <laughs> eight, 80 uh it's something like that yeah, yeah. add them all there's up. a lot of numbers there's hey, a lot of numbers just make let's sure have they a look. watch it right exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah well let's have a look at how we uh settled into the scoreboard folks with uh yeah. the boulder round is done it yeah. is uh it's uh, up there officially it's there might be top of the men. yeah there might be some appeals there sometimes there is but uh this is where it sits Current, currently yeah and um, as we mentioned sam lavender really incredible performance obviously and lucky on the first with the time sensational through the next three and uh young dylan as well you know just Put a back down and uh, Campbell with that last one really threw himself back in the mix. Well, everyone's in there with a shot, really from, you know, I think uh, from Maxim all the way to Sam, you know, within shooting distance of the, at least the podium and and if not, you know, the first spot. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, there's a few of those guys, like Campbell especially, um, being a lead specialist, he's definitely got the ability to make up some room. Yep. Yeah, and absolutely. No, I'm just going to agree completely. I was going to say, yeah, definitely. It's all he be feeling quite confident still, even though he's a little behind. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's take a look at the the females, the women, where we sit right now, and Oceania. Wow. You look know, at that. Nearly perfect. Yeah. One nine, nine, nine. fall. It was just making the start on uh, the number number three, two. I think it was two. Two. Was it the two? white yeah. one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, beautiful climbing from Osh and and fantastic climbing as well from Mayer and Emily. Two of our younger athletes at um, 16, 17 years old. I was going to say 16, 17, 16 again, the next three. Eh? What, yeah. a, what a performance by all the, all the athletes this weekend. But, yeah, you just uh, have you at home. That extra bit of credit for the youth uh, that's showing up this weekend. Well, it certainly, it certainly is uh, all down to the lead round, folks. But uh, certainly, uh, you know, within shooting distance of a couple of the podiums there, I think... Uh, you know, all the way down to number seven, depending on what goes on, you Absolutely. know, within, you know, within shooting distance. Well, with, with the style of the lead, obviously one attempt, to the, there's a time limit, but they get one attempt and it's, you know, there's certain points that, uh, up the climb. All it takes is one little slip, one mistake, and, um, you know, there's no, no give back sees, there's no mulligans like they have in golf. No, you know, that's yeah. it. So um, even though she's on 99.90, she, she's still got to go in and put the work. But obviously, if you could pick a spot, you want to be where she's sitting right now. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It gives you a little bit of confidence, a little bit of breathing room. And, you know, if there is a silly mistake up high, you've got a little bit of a buffer there. But, you know, there's most of those athletes have been in a comp in lead where we've had a foot slip and you fall off really, really low and you, you're confident, you know your sequence for those final few moves and you've envisioned yourself in the isolation area cruising through and you just 
maybe a foot slip at the second quick draw and it's all over. Well, we're not. Ho we're hoping that that doesn't happen for any of our Obviously, athletes Everyone today. empty the tank. <laughs> yes. yep. Touching, touching wood. But, but uh, listen, we're going to have a bit of a break now, folks. It's about 30 minutes between the end of the boulder round and the beginning of the lead. And uh, we'll uh, maybe leave you with a, a few highlights, a few recorded packages, and we'll be back with you as the commentary team as soon as the uh, as soon as the action starts over on the lead wall. But so far, so good, amazing action, and uh, can't wait to see. It'll be nail by the finish. I guarantee it's going to be great. <laughs> Don't <laughs> go away, folks. Olympic <laughs> tickets on the line. Yeah, it's absolutely. Watching for the omens I've been listening to everything you said It's been running through my head Locked and loaded I got the feeling that you know it Yeah, I've only just begun I won't stop until it's done Till you're broken So welcome to the fire
I've been waiting for this moment The final battle of the chosen See, I'm never gonna quit Got my legacy set in motion So welcome to the fire All right, folks, hey, listen, uh, a little bit of a treat for you. We're joined by Garrett Gregor, who is the uh, the head root setter for the boulder section. That's me. Garrett, how did it go? How do you feel after the, the round, the two rounds yesterday and today? You know, how do you feel it all went for you guys? Uh, I feel personally a little tired. Yes, I bet, uh, I bet you guys were up there. Justified, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, up late and uh, doing such a great job. Well done, by the way. Thank Fantastic. You yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. You. So, you know... Did the, the boulders play out like you wanted them to? Did it split the field? Did it give you the score you needed? You know, how did you go? Yeah, I think for us, the the boulder round, both both days, I think, went pretty well. Yep. No holds came off the wall. That's that's job number one. Tick, tick in <laughs> the yep. box. Step one, yep. safety. Job yeah. number one. Yep. Uh, job number two is to create an equitable playing field for the athletes. And so to that point, I think we did a pretty good job. I think on the first day... Um, for for a number of the athletes, it, it skewed to the harder side, um, and today I think we did a better job balancing that out. Uh, as as a root setter, you're you're kind of like always hypercritical. Yes. So not perfect, but. Uh, it's never perfect. So. Well, I can tell you what, we loved it from up here and, okay. and the crowd loved it too. And I'm sure the athletes enjoyed themselves. But uh, tell us a little bit about you. Where are you from? And, uh, you know, tell us a bit about your root setting history because, uh, you know, uh, you, you did a great job. Sure, thanks. Yeah, uh, so I've been setting, my name is Garrett Greger. I've been setting for 25 years or so. Climbing for 25 years and setting for about 20 so years. You still look so youthful. I was going <laughs> to guess he was only 25 years old. <laughs> No, I've been uh, I've been doing this a long time, and yep. so I I got my sort of like I came up in the USA climbing system and uh, worked my way into the IFSC as a forerunner first back in 2013, 2014, and uh, that was when I set my first IFSC Boulder problem. Exciting yeah, that's times, cool. yeah. That's cool. yeah, yeah, and and then uh, from there it was it's a long process, you know, to to get to this level. But I was officially a part of the IFSC in 2016, 2017. And then uh, I've set a number of World Cup events, uh, the ANOC Beach Games, 
Uh, I even set up the Tokyo 2021 Olympics. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, I've done this qualifying event. I'll do Africa qualifying event here for Chief Boulder Setter. And uh, I was the Chief Boulder Setter of the European qualifier as well. Plenty of travel yeah. for you. Uh, <laughs> plenty of air miles. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's, that's phenomenal. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Well done. And, you know, uh, how, do you, how did you find the facility here? We think this one is probably one of the best in Australia. Fantastic. But, you know, all over the world, there's amazing facilities. But it's great to see in Australia for certain, you know, Oceana, great facilities coming to the fore as well. Yeah, that's that's been one thing that's been excellent. And we haven't had to worry about hardly anything yep. uh, when it comes to the facilities here. Everybody's been super friendly, yeah. uh, very welcoming. and Big shout out to Ray and the Blackburn crew. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah. To Alan, uh, the, you know, everybody that's helped us, no matter how big or small, uh, vacuuming up today, uh, getting us all the materials we needed. Every everything's been super seamless, and yeah, big shout out to everybody here, including Sport Climbing Australia. Yeah, yeah, a massive, a massive amount of effort for an event like this. But Ian, what do you got? <laughs> what do you got for us? No, no, I was just intrigued to know a little bit as well about the route setting. So when you set for a competition like this, obviously you've got Guam, New Zealand, Australia. Um, are you given some sort of specific um, guidelines of, of how to set the routes or what to consider? Um, you know, what, what goes through your mind as a team as well to create this event? Funny, funny you should ask, actually. <laughs> uh, this is kind of like the first year or first couple of years that we've had like more specific guidelines in terms of what we're trying to achieve uh, what we're what we're aiming for for how many people get to low zones and high zones and and that makes it really challenge and the reason to do that is because what we're trying to do is have a combined competition and it used to be that you know we would have to go back and forth to the 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 lead team and say well what are you aiming for is it going to be a hard route is it going to be an easier route so that that it kind of balances out because mm. what you don't want it to be is it just to be a boulder comp or just to be a lead yeah, comp correct. And, and to sort of like keep that suspense as much as we can yeah. throughout the, the competition. And, and the double zone really does help. We said it's, it's a you know, remarkable step forward for, for bouldering in our opinion. And as a route setter, you, you welcome that, you're all aboard as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, 100%. In fact, in the USA climbing system, we've done the 5, 10, uh, 15 zones actually was, was sort of I think where this, this sort of system came from to some degree. Um, and you know, we I could go into scoring systems all day long, <laughs> yeah. but uh, a true route setter, yeah. true route setter, that, yeah. But no, it, I think it's it's actually really good, and, and more importantly, it's really good for the audience and the spectators. Yeah, yeah. It's really easy to understand. Yeah. Uh, you know exactly what needs to happen in order to get to this point. And there's more cheer points as well, and I think I think that makes the the spectacle of the event for you at home or for the audience here um, increases that as well. And I mean, we we always talk about it. it's a it's a two day event with the semifinals yesterday in the finals. Do you have to consider athlete fatigue? Because a lot of people think, oh, it'll just be a little bit harder on day two because it's the finals. But do you have to take things on board like the athlete fatigue and what they did the day before when setting these routes and adjusting? Yeah, another good question. It's it's something we always try to account for as, as much as we can again. And uh, to that point, there's even things like, uh, you know, trying to factor in how hot is it going to be? We'll, yeah. we'll take a look at the weather. What's the weather doing outside? Because yesterday, I'm sure you noticed, it was a lot hotter. Yeah, than it was well, today. yesterday and it's nice. Um, and so that's, you know, we, we try to factor in as much as we can everything. <laughs> Uh, including fatigue. Yeah, you guys did an amazing job and well done and uh, appreciate you guys travelling from wherever you did to be here over this yeah, weekend. Yeah, spread team, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I do see as part of the live stream team, we see you guys here, you know, well into the late into the night here in the early morning. So much appreciated and well done. Thank yeah, you. Th thank you so much for everything you do on behalf yeah. of the whole team here. And, yeah, me and Jess were, then Tom, were blown away by the roots. So, yeah, congratulations. Oh. Enjoy this moment. And now come and watch the lead of us, yeah. Your job's <laughs> done. And <laughs> yeah. uh, over to enjoy the lead climbing. Yeah, thanks so much. All right. Um, yeah, and just a, just real quick, a big shout-out to the team as well. Uh, we yep. had a number of the setters from the Blackburn awesome. crew that worked on, on, the, uh, on the Boulder team with us. And a couple of New Zealanders and, and people from Australia. So big shout out and big thanks to Sport Climbing Australia for providing us great root setters as well. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah, good shout outs all around. All right, folks, that's it from us in the commentary box. We're going to check out some lead highlights and the lead finals Thanks, real man. soon. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Thank you. So
Zombies in the water Afraid we won't survive I love the taste of the words that you say So they'll hurt Let it burn as it's going down So Got me trapped until your curse Cause you know it always works It's human nature It's in my It's in my nature Tell me I don't need no 
All right, we're back at it, guys, and uh, the best is yet to come. The finish uh, in the lead this afternoon. I'm pumped. I'm excited. What about you guys? Oh, oh, man. It, it's going to be insane. The, the field is so tight. It's all to play for. There's so much drama on the lead wall that can happen. And, uh, yeah, we've got our first athlete out here. They've had their observation in that quick break that we had. They will come out for six minutes. They will get to have a quick little look at what's going on. We'll be able to. Well, yes. Max, <laughs> Max Thomas stepping up to the plate. Max uh, is climbing by himself. We will have dual climbing uh, in the lead here, but uh, uh, like uh, like you heard before, if you've uh, if you were watching in the boulder, uh, unfortunately Rebecca Hunsell is out. Uh, the clock doesn't need to be on the stream this afternoon, folks. Uh, they don't have it coming through to us for the lead, but uh, it is only six minutes, Tom, to go from the bottom to the top. Yeah, countdown. And on a wall this long with this many moves, that six minutes goes by very quickly. So the athletes are going to have to just keep on moving. There's no time for a shake. Uh, not that the setters are really going to put too many of them <laughs> yeah. in. It looks very on your arms through here. Yeah. And I, I was having a bit of a root read before we went live uh, this afternoon. And yeah, this, this looks hard, this section here. There's a few little screw-ons on these red holds that just are going to make it just a, a tad easier for the athletes. Well, we're up into the 10 section. The, the <coughs> scoring pretty well, a little bit different to yesterday. Well, actually, for the females, uh, you know, starting uh, quite low. I mean, that was dramatic in itself yesterday, wasn't it? it was. Watching it to do 15 moves or so to get 20 points. Totally. Well, but let's tell everyone uh, at home how this works because uh, it happens in, in four scoring sections. Uh, at the bottom, there's a zero scoring section. Uh, you come into the one point section, the 10 point section, and the 30 point section, I think. Yeah, it is. you can see Max coming up to, there's a 30 point hold just there. Oh, Looks it's like hidden he's underneath. Yeah. Go up to that red and then cross underneath to it. Basically, there's 100 points on offer. If you get to the top, you get 100 points, and then they do some sort of crazy, weird root set of maths and go backwards from there. Um, so it's not kind of one point per move. Uh, there's some maths going on that I don't quite <laughs> yeah. understand, honestly. We have slight chance. increases in the value as you get yeah, higher, they so divide it by fours and threes. It's, um, you can go on the IFSC website for more information, and that's also where you'll find that live scoreboard. Um, essentially through here, he could be, like, for doing one more move, he could have gotten two or three points. So it'll all... Ooh. Oh, I was just about to say, Max was looking very comfortable and, and, and in control all the way to there, but came off pretty quickly. Such is lead, right? Such is lead. You know, yep. it's always just that one little micro mistake and uh, you're punished and unfortunately, that's it. One attempt and done. One and done. But a great showing from young Max. Again, another young athlete. Um, with a big personality and a big future ahead of him in the climbing game if he chooses. And um, yeah. you, can, you can see in that shot there's the 30 score where it, just where he was and just as he was kind of at the top of the frame there was the 60 score. So then the number of moves in between there and there, you get that 30 and it's um, kind of divided up. And so depending on how many moves, if there's 30 moves in there, there's not, but for the sake of argument, then it's one point yes. per move. Uh, so that's kind of how it all works. Equally divided between each of those zones. So, yeah. Yeah. so that's Thank the end of the competition for Max. He's just going to have to sit there and see what happens now. Well, uh, his efforts are done, but there are the there's certainly some more to go. Yeah, the end of a, a brutal training period for all of these athletes. Uh, is only a few minutes of climbing away. And we'll have our next uh, two athletes out in a moment, folks. And uh, they will continue to come out in the order that they finished in as well. So uh, Max, uh, next out will be Oscar uh, from New Zealand. And uh, uh, Amanda Speed from New Zealand also. Yeah, we, we just saw that one athlete because of um, Rebecca having pulled out due to being sick. These are fabulous holds, these first two. This is um, another thing that's unique to climbing, obviously, is that some of these athletes may have never actually touched this, this brand of hold or this style of hold before. Um, but, you know, there's so many different companies making incredible different holds now. Um, it really is a case of, like you said, to be a bit of a scientist and a bit of a, um, a, d a degree in, in climbing hold. Look at this female climb stats, quite different. Yeah, the women, again, have to climb quite high. And this, the movement through here, I read it, uh, and it looked tentative, scary, like bad feet, and yeah, again, like nerve-wracking, having nerve -wracking. to do 
quite a few moves before you even get a single point. Well, well, three clips, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I went and played around on those bottom holes, and they weren't as good as you'd want them to be, that's for sure. Yeah, also looking good over there, right? And do keep in mind these little bl uh, black dishes that you see just above his foot now and the ones on top of the quick draws, they are complete no texture. They're there just to cover, um, like, the bolts on the wall um, to stop them using, being used for benefit. Yeah, yeah, athletes aren't allowed to stand on any of those dangly bits that are hanging off or the bolts. <laughs> or they're called the quick draws, and that's what the, the athletes are clipping the rope into just there. And you're not allowed to use that as a foothold, but sometimes your foot may be flagging in a... Oscar getting a bit stuck there. Didn't go for the rose move in his match. Oh, wow. So um, the athletes aren't allowed to use them as feet, but sometimes a trailing foot may just drag through and, and, just and, and um, accidentally brush it. And that's um, those little hoods are there to, to stop against that. And Amanda yeah. going very well. Amanda, uh, Amanda over there doing well and it, you, you can stand on those uh, little blockers but they're not that much uh, used to stand on to be honest you know it's incredible look what she's only all that climbing there and it's only just about it's like 10 points wow yeah. that's hard work wow. isn't it wow <laughs> and it's steep terrain through here as well she's on about 30 degree overhang so oh good efforts oscar, oscar you could, again you could see him his elbows coming up just about to uh come off uh, usually a telltale sign. Yeah, really popular young man though, great energy. This section here looks quite tricky for the women. You've got to uh, kind of head up to this hold and then come underneath to the big pocket there. Cross through. Grab a clip as you're all tangled up. I was going to say, where are you going to clip from? Back in underneath. Oh wow. It's not Been too bad, but opportunity to just sh shake that one hand. The setters are mean there and only giving you the opportunity to shake one. She's going to quickly compose and move up through here. Oh, Looks nice. Come on. Not really Trust driving through with the legs. Yeah. Beautiful footwork with that right foot. Nice low uh, low heel and getting maximum come friction. On, come on, incredible determination. Yeah, you see the elbow up here. She's really just uh, burning a little bit of energy, but uh, hopefully she can get herself reset. Move the feet up again. Trust, and she's not standing on oh. anything. And I think maybe that uh, what she was going for. Well, hopefully that's not the actual handhold because that did look <laughs> tiny after all of that climbing. It very <laughs> footerish. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. But well done, well, well done, Amanda. Showing, though, very showing, really yeah. really yeah. composed, really yeah. battling. Amanda and Oscar, their competition is done. Oh, we done got the harker dusted. happening down the front there. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, a few others jumping in there as well. Amazing, Fubi. Yeah, so two um, lead preference climbers, um, very, you know, very different skill sets, but yeah, both of them are in, in different spots in the comp as well. Attacker was sitting in fourth just before. Um, so yeah, again, just um, let's see how they go here. Josh, nice and confident. He has climbed 34, 8C, 8C plus. And he wasn't mucking around, he attacked that pretty quickly. Yeah, he's someone that does suffer from a, a bit of uh, confidence, a lo lack of confidence. <laughs> in competitions, he can kind of get a little bit in his head and not really show his true potential. He's definitely very good and he's the outdoor climber in him looking to just skip clips when yeah. in doubt, run it out. <laughs> in, in a lot of the comps I've seen him, he seems to climb this turbo pace. Do you think that's a way to, that he deals with that confidence issue then that he just think get up there and get it done? Yeah, I think he's just got that natural style where he's just like, it's kind of high risk, but it works for him. and. He's really just leaning into it. Works quite well. 
Whereas you see over there on the women's route, Itako, she's just got like this very nice, slow, in control cadence. And there's not really one or the other that's better. It's really just understanding what feels good for you and doing that. So she's... knowing your body, knowing your strengths and yeah. playing into that. Yeah, okay. yeah it's not a time really to, um, to try and reinvent yourself out there on the wall <laughs> in the middle of a competition. Yeah. You want to be exploiting those strengths that you've got. I mean, Josh, Elba, a little bit we've seen a heap of both of these kids climbing and they're yeah, both hugely talented. Right. And he needs to just take a breath. You can see yeah. he's getting a little bit frazzled, a bit frantically bit, looking around. Second, take a second. A bit faster. Yeah. It's steep terrain here through, through there for the men. 35 degrees overhanging. Well, let's hope he can recompose here because oh, it, it only gets harder. Oh, he's fighting. Yeah, really. And the tackle just adjusting. She realized she couldn't get it that first time. A little bit too big of a move. Oh, Josh. Oh, Josh. Yeah, he tank, just tackle. never really looked comfortable aside from those first couple of moves. The tackle couldn't find the chart back there. Just did missed it and then just skipped it. And uh, now she's going to try and chart again. Nice. She's really taking her time on this on this climb, like quite the polar opposite as we mentioned. Yeah, well, very composed. She's got uh, quite a, quite a lot of endurance. We've seen her um, yeah, we in a few of those competitions, and I think, uh, I think uh, this might might suit her. Some of those holds reasonably big, but a long way to go. Yeah, used to being on the big scene, obviously um, in Queensland, a well-known young climber, competing in a lot of um, national states and uh, and even the U5 FSC in in America, and um, yeah, just. We, we've seen it much of her as well, and she did seem unflappable, featured in a mini documentary about her there was as well. So, again, used to being in the line like that shouldn't affect her. It's just about, yeah, breathing, taking the time, being so young, not letting it go, and just, just yeah, she, one move at a time. She does look very composed out there, uh, and well, she is using that as a hold, maybe an intermediate. <laughs> very nice. Yeah. Much smaller hands than uh, Really good. Come on, attack her. There's that 30. Awesome. Into the 30 scoring oh, points oh, now. Oh, the, oh, crowd's, oh. the crowd's really appreciating that. Nice little cross under and roll out. She's going to be having a little bit of a hit. This field is very, very, very challenging. Yeah. And again, did you get a chance to uh, go and have a look at the, the climbs, Tom? And what do you think about that top section? Because it looks spicy as it kicks back. <laughs> Very spicy. Actually, when I went down to have a look at it, I don't know whether the root setters just haven't swapped the placards from yesterday or whether they put them... Uh, yeah, because basically this route that the women are on was marked as the men's one. Uh -huh. And uh, the, the men, what they're climbing on today, was marked as the women's. And you're looking at it and you're like, far out, they... You generally, you can kind of pick which one yeah. may be. Like, there's a style or there's something to it. Um, but, yeah, I looked at it and went, oh, yeah, cool. That looks like a very hard route for the men, and that <laughs> looks like a very hard route for the women. And then they've swapped it. Um, Mind so games. who knows what's going on. But Mind games from the root set, as you think. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, out next, we've got Ben Abel, and uh, we've got Roxy Perry out next. And uh, if we get a chance in between these uh, competitors, we might have a bit of a quick look at the scoreboard to see how we're progressing. We'll see if the team can do that as the gaps, as we have the gaps. But uh, we might do that after these two competitors, I think. But Roxy, Roxy uh, out and ready go, to go. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm, again, I'm feeling a bit peckish actually seeing the food in the bottom of the corner there. <laughs> Some rice paper rolls. Luke, well, here we are. Roxy's uh, absolutely not um, not phased by these kind of events. She's competed 31 times on the international stage, both as an adult and in the youth categories. So she knows her way around an international competition. She'll have her processes in place of how she would um, transition between that bouldering round and the lead round. And she won, um, I think she won one of the uh, the Australian Championships of recent times, uh, the lead in, down in Sydney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's um, yeah national champion as well. Yep. So, um, yeah. Yeah, she's... Um, and, and Ben Abel here. Defi yeah, definitely this talented, super strong. And, and seeing Ben here, he did get that fourth boulder, so he's coming in this on a high from the fourth boulder. And, um, yeah, let's see how he goes here It's a well. change of pace, though, between how you're going to approach a lead route and how you approach your bouldering round. Generally, you want to try and stay just a little bit more kind of calm. Like we saw Josh, you know, he's going at it hard and, and all of that, but you still want to try and keep it nice and slow and steady to a degree because uh, yeah, there's a lot of time on the wall. Keep the, the mind under control. 
Ben looking pretty okay so far. He looks a little bit kind of tentative. You see he's just not really stomping on those feet in the way that you would. He's the kind of, kind of climber who Roxy. needs that little mini victory to sort of relax, like, you know, get through a difficult part. Yeah. And you see him sort of relax back into the climb. Roxy looking pretty good up there. Yeah, yeah. Roxy's um, much quicker to this point than the other two climbers, I will say, as well, which, you know, you mentioned as well about your energy levels and your fuel tank. Um, you've got... You've got numerous analogies that are all fantastic, <laughs> Tom. But, um, yeah, it's one of those things that, um, you know, like you say, the speech he's got into this position will only benefit her as well. Both competitors now up into the 30 scoring point zones. Or oh, that 10. I thought that was... No, that's... A, it feels like it should be 30, the, the females. Have oh, done so much climbing. Wall. Come on, Ben. Come ben on. was just a little bit caught up with his hand there. It was underneath the rope, the rope. and then had to throw. And he was looking good, and then it's... Um, that's oh, frazzled yeah, him. Really cooked him. Well, and that's the that. second athlete we've seen fall on that, At that move section. to the gas on. And that, that's what we say about lead, you know, that it's a very unforgiving um, discipline because, yeah, if you can make that mistake, it just saps so much energy to get out of those tricky spots and, um, yeah, to settle back in is just unfortunately undone Ben there. Roxy Rock. looking pretty comfortable. It's very comfortable, yeah. She's moving with a lot of confidence. Yeah, looking like she's good. only just stepped off the ground. She's got <laughs> fresh arms. Yep, straight <laughs> arms and uh, all... Uh, all uh, all in the bag for the moment, and anyway. this is going for a high point. She'll cross under this pocket. Ataco didn't quite make that next one, well, but she's put Roxy her feet looking up, good. Feet up in a better position. Like you said, Taco did it as a big swing. Roxy's looking very controlled. Yeah, nice little step through. Yeah, and that's nice. Yeah, well, the crowd, the crowd loving it. Uh, Roxy just dropping another gear here, I think. She and this just, is uh, definitely a section as well where you, the holds aren't good and you're going to have to just keep on moving. Very steep terrain here for the women. She'll be just uh, eyeing that 60 and may not be able to see it just yet because she's still underneath the head wall and about to turn the lip. Yeah, well done, Roxy. And here we go. Well, the 60 is not far away. I was about to say, it looks like she's right near the top. Then you're like, well, there's the 60. There's still a fair bit of climbing. It's still a good six metres where she's now. Yeah. A little bit confused. Where do I clip this Ooh, next yeah. quick draw? Maybe. Oh. Good, good splits. Good flexible. Oh. Well, I, absolutely Brilliant. awesome. Brilliant. That's fantastic. That's a very proud weekend for Roxy. <laughs> well She's done. had a fantastic bowl around and yeah. really left it all out there on the wall. Yeah, well, we might try and get a look at the scoreboards just quickly, see how we're progressing, because Roxy, uh, Roxy yeah. was certainly one of those ones within shooting distance. And, yeah, she um, be plus 100 now. Yeah. So there we see... Um, yeah, here we go, Roxy. Yeah, 57. There, looking great. Her total 100 now. And uh, that's not too bad. And... Well, what, looks difficult for her to, to take the top spot um, with what Oceana put out, but nothing's feasibly impossible at this stage. Well, certainly, uh, Maya and Otako. Otako's done. Maya and Emily probably within shooting distance, so maybe somewhere in there. Let's check out the, the male. We've had our first four climbers uh, out and about on both sides. As, as you mentioned, Jez, Max and Ben both uh, stumbling at that same spot there. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, Oscar... Just similar sort of area, Josh a little bit further down. But, um, yeah, great, great outcome for Oscar there as well. Next athletes out, ready to pull on. We've got Emily and Dylan, two of our younger competitors in this final. Let's see uh, how they go with their lead. Emily. Final climb for this weekend's competition. Neither em of them are in the speed, I don't think. No. Yeah, Emily had a, a good bouldering round. Nice and tight there, so a, a strong performance in the lead here. And she's definitely given herself every opportunity to be um, right in the mix there at the end of the day. Yeah, she's, she's performed brilliantly this week. It's been a joy to watch and, uh, yeah, no slouch in the speed, uh, in the lead. I should say, um, mention the speed, the one athlete that is doing both disciplines that we're seeing today is Ben Abel, mm. who, who will be doing the speed as well tomorrow. Um, He's so, quick. Yeah. Yeah, his his weekend is <laughs> even if he doesn't make the top, his weekend is not done for for it. So he has a slightly different finish now. He'll still have to go and recover and get ready again. Uh, I don't think there's a, a spot for speed by itself, is there for for these tickets? Um, I might go find that out. No, yeah, there, there, is. Is. there is. There is. There is yeah, a spot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there so is, there's yeah. two for speed and two for yeah, Boulder lead. Absolutely right. Oh, yeah. There yeah. you go. So four tickets: two male, two female, one for each discipline. Being on offer today. Nice high foot there from Dylan. 
Yeah. Seen some of the other athletes stay quite low. It looked like a bit of a weird mantle <laughs> in steep terrain to get up to that right hand hold. I we'll wonder if he's yeah lining up for the match. Well, we saw Ben have some some troubles here with this one, and you know, um, um, but uh, power on through. He, he looked uh, a little bit more in control and. Yeah. Maybe well, with a little bit left in the tank. Well, as I always request, you know, being a slightly smaller climber myself, or smaller person in general, um, you know, I always, I, I was saying to you, Tom, you know, you're a slightly taller climber, and um, I say, you know, thinking these routes, how they play differently for these different height is athletes, Dylan that's an incredible in position to be in. There. That's oh, a strenuous way to do that. Yeah. But Emily, on the other hand, looking in control, Dylan trying to recover from that. Just oh, just Oh, wow. He's gone left hand to that. That's going to be tricky. He's going to have to try and match this somehow. Maybe because the, he's the a Houdini. <laughs> we shall of see. Sequence. Yeah. yeah this is, he's going to. He's not going to. It's a steep terrain as well. I he's going to he's say he's going to pop it. That's a lot of energy being burned. Thirty-five degrees. So there's yeah. no kind of just getting over a foot and releasing a bit of pressure. Be interesting to see how this, he does go with this. You're right, Tom. This yeah. is going to be really down climb. Or? Oh, he's got a mono in there at the moment. So <gasps> one finger, and then he's gone for another. That is crazy. <laughs> that's, that's why you... Yeah, you Quick thinking recovery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's committed to that and gone for it. But how much has that juiced him? He looks like he's, he's uh, here. This shouting. Is the, this is the spot stopping pot for Ben. And, and that's a he's new high point for the men. Yes. And Emily's still making great progress too. Oh, oh. just one hold higher, but yeah. Oh, you just got to wonder if he had, uh, if he'd done that sequence a little cleaner, he probably would have made it a bunch more moves through. But uh, I don't doubt. Yeah. absolutely fought all the way to the end there. Didn't leave any doubt on the wall for himself, <laughs> yeah. did he? Emily and looking good. It'll be interesting to see what she does with the clip here. Roxy looked a little bit unsettled before and kind of ended up needing to get into a, a weird position out there in the splits and just didn't look great. Well, it is a big thing that plays into the athlete's mind, isn't it? Is knowing like, you, you know, like you say, where to clip, how to clip, Beautifully to done. get the move first or clip. Yeah, that was really smooth because nice. it, there's nothing worse than climbing past it and then realizing you're in a position you're going to have to get back. Come yeah, on. And I, I didn't see that white uh, white one there. Just, oh, nice oh. drop knee. Yeah. yeah. And definitely. these holds are come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh. That is very, very, very good from Emily. I'm loving watching her. She's so like she's so young, but she's climbing with such a mature head on her shoulders. You just watch her movement. She's moving her feet up and down in a very deliberate way. Everything looks That's just fit. Awesome, fantastic! So, another awesome show from both these athletes. Like, like we said to oh. anybody who's tuning in, congrats! You know, every person who's taken part this weekend or this week so far, you know, in tip of the hat, incredible efforts from everyone. It's been, you know, nothing but entertainment and high-level athleticism. But um, yeah, for everyone just finishing up, Emily's really done herself proud there. Well, let's see if we can quickly have a sneaky look at the scoreboard because uh, Emily was uh, in well within in shooting hunt, range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, maybe. We shall see, but uh, the next athletes will be coming out. There's, there's uh, where we are with the men's. So it puts Dylan Dylan's first. up the top. Yeah, if we go, go to the women's, we might see how Emily went. And um, you can see there too with that scoring wow. system, people she is. Yep. on the 39.1 fell off going for the hold that Dylan stuck. Yes. And just sticking that, he's got 42 points. Yeah. So that's the way that the, the, um, the division, so the 60 to 30, uh, and then divided by however many moves, um, that's how, you know, a hold can end up being worth two points or, yeah. or so. Well, it, or in ten. the final area, I think it's four, yeah, and it's three in that spot below. All so, right. it's, it's, yeah, it's tons of, tons of points for every move, like you say. And, um, yeah, both Dylan and Emily move into first place, respectively. Judith this and Sam out now. Very exciting for Sam because Sam is currently in first position. He's generally been pretty good on the lead wall and had a good day yesterday in lead it just, um, so it's going to be it's kind of the ball's in his court really yeah he just needs to remain pragmatic and work his way through it as he, he normally seems to for Judith again a, a top would be realistically probably what she's going to need to take the top spot but um, she's done so well all we can see how she goes here she's a you know, great climber to watch yeah, so good, good strength through her toes there she was quite strung out in steep terrain getting that clip in maybe a little bit out of sequence and i think sort of lead uh, tends to be due to uh, one one of due to strength so maybe she's got uh, you know something up her sleeve here well no sleeves aren't on but uh, maybe something <laughs> in the tank um, yeah. for for her lead round we'll in see. the chalk bag yeah in the chalk yeah. bag <laughs> good save yeah but uh <laughs> yeah it's very um you know very uh very controlled here for sam and what do you think would it would it be in your mind 
Tom, on the wall, thinking about, all right, just hold it together to get to this. Would, would you have done the math to find out, all right, I need to get to this hold, or that's not part of the, the process? How would you approach it? Oh, I think that there's so many variables in all of this that really the athletes are just thinking, I just need to get to the top. Yep. I'm just going to go to the top. Just clear and, your and mind I'm, and give yourself that yeah, one objective. It's just you put the bouldering round behind you. Because the thing is, you haven't got the spot until it's all over. Yeah. And it's you might as well put everything in. Oh, he's looking for a little knee scuff or something there <laughs> to make this clip. Don't go higher, mate. That's going to be a difficult clip. Yeah, Dylan struggled with this one too. Yeah. Not, Sam a little bit better for it though. It's Good interesting hand watching watching uh, Sam climb here and you can see him not really using too much momentum through a movement. He's really pulling through the moves. Lots of and, uh, physical um, force for it. Yeah, yeah. and that's going to tie you out pretty early. He always uh, seems to move like that. Like I say, like I always say pragmatic, but I think, yeah. He's so you can see he's pull on that right arm. Yeah, yeah he and then swim. he'll pull down and not really use the momentum. Uh, so that may just be his climbing style, but... Oh, well, he's, uh, he's in place now, maybe to make a high point here. Looking good. Judith yeah. also not, making great progress. He's not necessarily the most efficient of energy, he said, but he is, yeah. have to, he is looking so cozy. This, this is a new high point for the Miles route. Judith up to the 30. The crowd's loving it. He's looking a little fatigued now. Judith again, just a little bit out of sequence here. She's going to need to perform some... Oh, unlucky, Sam. That's great effort. Good effort from Sam. I think, though, he never really looked comfortable getting into that. <laughs> His arms are pumped, that. Yeah. <laughs> Coke bottle, fully Coke bottled <laughs> forearms. And now he's got to undo that knot at the, at the bottom. Yeah, yeah that the final she pump. in a tricky spot. Looking to, she's going to have to try and bump and come back across. And these are those little mistakes that just cost you a little bit, can keep your... Oh, oh, there you go. oh yeah, damn. Oh, mate. Well, there she'll you go. be heading back to Sydney. To a, she's got a couple of little sausage dogs at home. <laughs> <laughs> she'll um, she'll head back to them. Her, head held high. She put in an awesome performance. Yeah, this weekend. and the partner's yeah. here with this weekend. And yeah, like I said, they, she's got nothing to be ashamed. Great effort. And um, yeah, you know, representing her country proud again. And shout out to the Belayers down there, Absolutely. Doing, <laughs> doing their best to keep everyone nice and safe, give rope when it's needed and all that, sort all of that stuff. kind of thing. Yeah, well, let's it's have a look at the, uh, the scoreboard just quickly. A cheeky one. I, I love to see the updates as we yeah. go through. We might try and do that at the end of each uh, climb up, but uh, this is I wonder big, how Judith went. Big for Sam. Sam, yeah. in the lead. So well done. Yeah. So let's have a look. Uh, Campbell Harrison... Yeah, yeah, okay, so there's 70. 70 points, which is going to be, if you have a look at the, where um, Sam got 54 points, he's going to need to, Campbell's going to need to get a good few moves above uh, Sam. If he can get through so that. well and truly up on the head wall I there. I think four moves past the 60, Let's check really, out which the, is, it, man, we've seen that climb. That Max Pear's going to be looking to really have to top it out, potentially, and here's Campbell. This is right. it for him. This yep. is the Olympics. This is Campbell. All right, back to the show. His back to the hand. <laughs> this is, it's on the line. It, it's this it's is all it. the climb for. It's one and done. So all of the pressure's on his shoulders. Pretty much both of these athletes needed. Well, Mayer does need a top to um, to give herself a shot. Yeah, Mayer's very much in the mix as well. Just a yeah. few points. Lavosha's 99.9 .9 in the boulder. She's going to need to top this to put any kind of pressure across. But... Um, yeah, let's see how Campbell, he, know, he, he doesn't know obviously what we know, but he's pretty much going to need to be, yeah, like you say, up and around that top to, uh, to have that spot. Because, uh, you know, the competitors do not know what the other competitors have achieved on the wall as yeah. of yet. There's no scoreboards around the, uh, all the, the venue. All the uh, climbers yet to have climbed are all out the back in their own isolation zone. They're not allowed to see anything. They've not yes. been able to use their phone or contact the outside world for the last few hours. Basically, it's their own little bubble to yeah. try and keep things yeah. as um, kind of fair as possible. Yeah, absolutely. I was chatting with Maya's coach just in the break there, and he's pretty happy with how she's going. Said she was looking good. Yeah. And they're, they're feeling pretty confident, but also, you know, with Maya being so young, just 16. So um, much more to there's, go. There's yep. so many years to go. Yep. So if it's not this time, uh, she's definitely going to be a contender the next time it rolls around, which will be LA. LA. Yeah. Well, 2028, so... Well, Ian and I have had a few chances to talk to some of the younger yeah. competitors in the sort of the low teens, and they're all aiming for 2032 Olympics, but... Uh, Brisbane. Yeah, for to the... Be, 
to be honest, the way Maya speaks as well, like super ultra professionally good. And yeah, like you say, she's another one that, you know, you tip for it. But at the same time, uh, her goal is just follow a process, continue. You're right, Jason. And uh, all these young kids, that's what they've got. You know, it's on the tip of their tongues, really, is yeah. a home Olympics. That's right. And, and yourself, Tom, like we're, we're going to coach you back in, you know. Yeah, I'm keen. <laughs> Sign me up. Uh, I think uh, maybe it? after We've this weekend you, uh, yeah. you've got the psych back, Tom. Maybe let's see. Campbell is looking so in control through all of this. Quick well, as well. It feels the, quick, does it not? Very quick, yeah. This is that control and the movement, the experience that he's had from those World Cup semi-final appearances. This isn't his first rodeo. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. And well, he, he knows what the situation is. You're going to put all of that behind. If but he gets to the 60, is he, it... He is pretty much needs that top black hole we can see. I think if they're far a point pretty much past the 60. He's looking... This is it. I think he's looking top, isn't he? He's, he's thinking, yeah. put it on my own. Come on, Cap. Come on, Cap. This is the high point. A little top hook. Mayer as well going very in control. This Into the, the 60. We We've got a high really point far. for the, for the females as well. Someone put a heart rate model oh on me. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I'm breaking world records <laughs> on, at the moment. Come on, he's in there. Oh, this is amazing. Campbell but... very, very in control. And the only the only part that... Are we going to... I'm not going to say it. I think it's his oh, oh, Mayer. Oh, Mayer so close. Just a little short on that. And Campbell just... I think Campbell needs that one out to the left. The two more holds. Mayer think. was looking very, very good. She very confident. Awesome. Well, Sam camping out here a little bit, getting a little bit of... Uh, a little bit back, and uh, the crowd is willing him on. It's about One 20 degrees overhanging here. Oh. oh, my gosh. I think he's done it. I think he's done it. Yep. The crowd loves oh, it. The no, crowd no, no. knows it, folks. Yeah, he's going to hit He's it. emptied the tank, oh. and this is... This is the Look win. at the This grit. is it. Oh. I think this is it. <laughs> we'll have to see, obviously, the In scoreboard. Yeah. Incredible, yes. Campbell. Look what it means to him. <laughs> Look what it means to him. This gentleman oh, is a machine. We can feel that through the camera, folks. Oh, that is incredible. How good was that? Wow, well, let it... This, the yeah, tears. Keep this moment forever, Campbell, because that's sensational. What ultimate... I mean, that was incredible. Perfection. Tom, what does that mean to him right now? Oh, you know, I that... Can, I, I can... I can I can feel you know that what, what that feels like. <laughs> it brings back so many memories. Oh, oh it, the I'm just going to let him coach. <laughs> they're giving him, because he's giving him a bit of a support. What a moment. And yeah, Just it, awesome. All of the hard work that Campbell has put in for so many years and far out his last Oceana appearance back in 2021, uh, or the end of 2020, we, we had COVID stuff going on. Yeah, you can see awesome. that means the world good way. on him. He, he had all sorts of board issues where he needed to try and get back before midnight and there was just so many things playing on his mind and now to just see him have the opportunity to come here and give it he all. Goes straight with his partner he, there's the his partner. Squad. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, uh, look at that. That's what it means to the skull boy. Well. 100 That's on it. lead. That is so good. He cannot be caught. <laughs> Hands. Campbell Harrison, you have qualified for the games. You can see his mummy vet in the background. Oh, bless you. In Coming tears, out of the bowl around too, there as well. Yeah. Yeah. His dad oh. competes in the paraclimbing. Oh, that's amazing. They've what been a moment, to World folks. Cups and competed together. <laughs> yeah, that's an incredible story. It's how they've got on you, Campbell. Good on you, dude. <laughs> what a hero. Go, boys. <laughs> this is awesome. Good on them. It is sinking so in. He's hard. Like, he just checked that he goes to do it. And I was like, you think you, you should know. Yeah, awesome. Oh, I Brilliant. cannot wait to hero. go off and give him a big hug. <laughs> yeah, that is what incredible. A yeah. Oh, what a moment. Let him have his moment. Oh, look at the support from the team. This is what I love. Oh, Roxy, Roxy goes yeah. over. They've been friends mm -hmm. forever. Yeah, that's and that's what I mean. They all win together, and this is a sensational thing. I don't reckon he's got a voice box left. <laughs> Watching him just yell the house down. He nearly bent the walls the way he was hitting them. Oh, ben Abel there, the whole what team. What a great mind. moment for uh, for climbing in Australia. That is amazing to see. Well and done. No Sam one has put in more work. And look at than that, you Campbell. see. And, and look at that, Sam. You know, second position, tipped it, and nothing but support and love. They want you know united, and that's the great thing about climbing. Oh. And Sam Lavender's still only 20. Incredible. And, and so. the best part is that uh, Campbell's partner is from France as well, so it's kind <laughs> oh, of a home world cup. 
<laughs> Ring uh, up the relatives. Yeah. Yeah, we're coming. Well and done. here comes Osh, all to play for for her. Osh and Max. Max has got the opportunity to get himself up onto the podium with a good performance. Yeah. Osh, it's not guaranteed at the moment, but she doesn't need to do all that much. Yeah, 30 or so, 30 just, or so points, roughly. Yeah, just... Just do just, what she's done a thousand have, times just keep before. Fun, just right? go yeah. climbing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, uh, you do say that, Tom, and uh, I think that's something that people should really take away from this. Is exactly right. Is don't overthink it. Just just go climbing. It's such a nice phrase to say. Yeah, just let the body climb. Yeah, and I think leave the brain at the floor, and just go climbing. I think uh, yeah, I think that's a really nice nice thing to think about. Yeah, just just do what you love. She's and, moving uh, confidently. Yeah, I'm gonna say she doesn't look phased. You watch. Um, Watch Osh moving there. I was talking about that pulling through the move or using momentum. A little bit you of momentum, yeah. Yeah, Osh is just uses her body quite nicely and just kind of rolls up into it. And, yeah, she's, um, she's a great climber to watch. And Maxim <laughs> looking okay uh, at the moment. I'm sure he'll want to, you know, uh, lay down a, a, a great performance here, but uh, still a fair bit to do on this route. Yeah. And it, it just shows how it's it's never really over. Like you say, you, you know, in, you can come out the semi-finals and uh, top spot. He struggled the first couple of boulders, really answered with that top on the third. Um, it's, a, it's a roller coaster these events, and it's just wall-to-wall -wall entertainment. That's why you know we love being here. And if you, for you guys watching at home, thank you uh, for tuning in. And um, yeah, you've you've been on, you've been really giving a show. Oh, well. she's no stranger to getting herself to the top of this wall. This would be one of the venues that she's training at a bunch on the lead. And, and you know, how do you think that plays in? Does it does it affect, or do you think that plays in with the you know knowing the angles of the wall and stuff yeah. like that? I mean, sometimes, especially with the holds, like you said, if you know them, you're familiar with them. But, yeah, uh, I think so. There's there's something about knowing that you you have been to the top of the wall. Even you know, this is the first time that these athletes have been on these climbs. But there's just for me at least, there's something about there's a little bit of confidence. Yeah. For her and Campbell both being Melbourne home athletes, like you say, yeah, you know, it's. Um, I guess, yeah, that 1% of mental could make a small difference, right? Come on, Osh. Max just starting to look a little bit tired there. It was a little bit funny getting to the crimp. This is that first crook, so I've got a few of them. Yeah, there's a, a high foot here that the guys have been getting. They're staying low. Ooh. Yeah, I see. Got to do that crossover. Not working that out just yet. Oceana looking very comfortable. Of it, yeah. oh, oh, no. Lucky, yeah. lucky. Uh, so I think a that massive should be weekend. Enough, should be enough for third potentially in Modulin. Come on, Osh. And that's the that's definitely first spot for well, yeah, Osh. Osh yeah. uh, claiming her, her victory spot uh, as well by the sound of it. And you can you can hear the you Mackenzie can. clan at the bottom. <laughs> I think she she's one of four sisters and uh, very popular here in Melbourne. Yeah. All right. Well, everyone let's... has watched the scoreboard, she's rolled through. She's got the ticket and That's just going to enjoy these yeah. last few moves. Yeah. Most athletes, for me at least, I, I don't really hear what's going on as I'm climbing. You can kind of feel Ooh. something, but you don't hear it. And Spectacular. There we go. 199.9 <laughs> is her score. Osh McKenzie, you're going oh, to the yes. games. Yes. Hey. <laughs> the first one of our only falls yeah. of all night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there you go. That is spectacular. What a finish to the Boulder Lead uh, qualifiers here in Melbourne, folks. Absolutely fantastic. What an amazing event for all the competitors. Huge. Yeah, <laughs> there's the family <laughs> coming in, mum and the sisters. That's glorious. I've seen dad here somewhere in the background. There, there he, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be missed. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's beautiful. And, and um, yeah, you see how much it means to everybody. What, what an incredible Osh, first. Osha's mum goes around with her to all the comps and has, yeah, just volunteered to do everything with timings and all sorts of help over the mum and dad having a cuddle at the yeah. bottom there. That's awesome. Fantastic. It's well, such a, a team effort. You know, it's an Olympic, um, Olympic. It's an individual, individual sport. sport. Yeah. But it, it's an entire team behind all of these athletes, and you see how much it means to the support network Absolutely. behind them. Absolutely. Well, Friends and family and coaches and everything. Why don't we quickly check the scoreboards, folks? Uh, this will, will be preliminary, Tom. Usually there's some time for you know appeals or anything like that, but... Uh, everything we, looks pretty clean. Yeah, yeah, we do see there, Campbell. Absolutely 
Oh, you know, heart. Crushed. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was an absolute heartfelt win, that one, and, and a, uh, so a, far. A mini thing for Sam to take away as well is that that top on the first ball away was a second late. It didn't become a difference maker, which is something that I think will actually sit nicer on him as yeah. well. Uh, you know, yeah. instead of that being the difference, something like that, you know, Campbell's. Campbell's Trump, incredible performance really justified his first place. And, and Dylan Parks oof. making yeah. number number three on the podium. So that's um, awesome. that's awesome for the future for him. There's a lot of confidence. And that was great that. from his lead round. It really, really brought it home for him in, in that sort of space. He's and got then it. He's o Osh in. is going to be at the top yep. for the women. Whoop, hang on. <laughs> Not quite a score update there. <laughs> Hasn't updated yet, but but uh, she, she did she, she did, did get score more than 30 lead. points. Yep. So maybe Unless the, there's... Yeah, an appeal that's uh, happened, I think but it was I'm just updating assuming then. not. I think it just was updating there. There we go. There, there we go. go. <laughs> yes. There was a moment <laughs> of panic for all of us. Yeah, <laughs> probably more for her. But yeah, there oh, we go. Amazing. So Maya and Emily doing it for the younger crowd. Well not done. that Osha's all that old. She's only <laughs> a, a handful of years older, but um, really, really bright for those two for the future. The massive confidence boost for them. A great experience, and they'll be able to move that into future competitions and. Yeah, really proud effort from them for holding it together over two very intense days and the training period that leads up to all of this. Absolutely. Um, well, this, yeah. And you can see Amanda Speed down at the bottom there doing it for the New Zealanders. Judith Carroll and Ataco again, another younger athlete that really did everyone proud. Well, everyone's this got to remember, you know, this was the top eight, and this, and yeah. it took many months. There was qualifiers earlier in the year, then the semis, and now the top eight. And to be well, in the top eight is an absolute so, awesome achievement. And then, you know, um, it's nothing to take away such, wherever they finish today. Such a today. great point, Jess, is that the state level events, then there's your nationals and youth nationals, all these, you know, point scoring events up to, you know, and the lead selection event, and then this. So they've done all that, they've got through all that, they've got through the semis, and then performed excellently so yeah huge congrats to every single one of them absolutely well we're going to have a see uh, we're going to see the ceremony and the presentations and stick around folks because you will get i do believe they're issuing an actual ticket um uh, for the olympics not and, to be uh, missed not to be missed indeed and uh, also the action keeps on coming tomorrow we've got the speed there'll be the uh, semi-finals in the morning and the finals in the afternoon and uh, that is always one yeah, talk about fun fast one to action watch. packed yeah. fun yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> we'll all be back for that for sure well i was just having a look at the uh, some of the world records uh, a little while ago for for that and uh, you know it's uh, in the 5 second range and yeah, that... you got to scale up 15 meters you can see it just on the left of shot there 15 meters in 5 seconds that's crazy uh, you think about that you're traveling at less than 2 seconds every 5 meters <laughs> yeah uh, isn't that insane bit, like straight up actually a bit overhanging as well yeah. so yep yep and um, tom you were saying the route difficulty for those at home who um, are wondering oh is it just like a ladder you know it's uh, it's uh, 21 essentially isn't it roughly yeah, yeah so you know, a difficult climb. It's not easy. It's not your household um, easy easy climb by no stretch. Max Thomas there. Uh, so, favourite fa favorite takeaways, favourite highlights so far um, of today's round, I, I think personally Campbell's celebration. The climbing was one massive highlight, but seeing how much, you know, it meant to him and the hard work paying off, that, that was a moment. Yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful. For me, probably the highlight was actually just seeing the New Zealanders and that the harker there the at the end. Good. That was great. <laughs> yeah. um, that, yeah. that was just awesome. And to just see the passion that that nation has for the for their athletes and have come over and done such an incredible job. And it's just awesome to see. So, yeah, that was uh, highlight of the a weekend. Pre yeah, pretty me. epic Absolutely. highlight too. <laughs> Jess, any, yeah. any other additions? I was going to say that one. I had a tear in my eye on both of those yeah. moments. I'm a bit of a softie when it comes to that stuff. And I could really feel the, uh, the emotion and the energy from the crowd. And the and tough... Tough yeah. thing too now for those athletes that have just missed out, it's a hard turnaround. Yeah. There's a lot to learn from it. I always think whether you win or lose, there's a lot to learn from these competitions. They always put your game plan under such an intense microscope. Um, so yeah, it'll just a lot of them are going to be looking forward to a really good rest yep. um, yeah, over the next couple job. of weeks, coming into the Christmas period and, and reassess and head tailed high. Maybe a few of them are going to head out to the rocks and just enjoy some time in the outdoors. Yep. Uh, but for Campbell and Osh, they're I was, I was going to be say, moving into yeah. six months of the most intense training that you know, they've just, ever done. Go, go, yeah. Go, yeah. Yeah. Well, talk us through that, Tom. You know, 
what do you do now? Do you take a day off and then reset? Is it absolutely flat out or, you know, what would be the schedule? Yeah, so I, I'm guessing that for them it'll be, you know, a good couple of weeks of rest. Yep. Just rest the body, rest the mind. Uh, and it's really just kind of bringing back that elastic band to really fire it forward uh, and give it everything. So there, there might be like a little mini training block leading up into Christmas and yep. then maybe a little break over Christmas. Um, or just a, a chance to just enjoy going climbing and not think about performance. Just come into the gym and just have a fun, goofy session with your friends. Uh, and then, yeah, probably in the new year, really just go hammer and tong. Uh, so they'll be looking to get some World Cup experience and they'll be going off uh, competing in the World Cups, representing Australia. There's a few more before the Olympics. Yeah, yep. which will be invaluable experience for them just to really see where they're at and, um, yeah, basically give it and everything and stay in that competition mindset yeah as yeah, well, yeah but it'll be a balance as well because you know that w when you're trying to find the um the the headspace to perform well at a competition you're kind of sacrificing a bit of time training so there's going to be yeah the balance this is Quituga from guam who's yeah. our 11 month old climber <laughs> yeah that's um, spectacular that, yeah, that, that's so another highlight they're going to be um yeah, having to find that balance between competition and training. Yeah. Because ultimately, next year is not about how they go at the World Cups. It's about how they go in Paris at the Games. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go, folks. We've uh, we've done uh, we've done the job. Well, the athletes <laughs> have done the job. We've done very little. We've, we've just <laughs> sat here and enjoyed. <laughs> we've enjoyed it indeed. And maybe Tom's got the psych back. He might even uh, throw the shoes back on and see what uh, see what happens. I'll so, certainly bring a chalk bag next time I'm in the yeah. booth. That's, uh, <laughs> need you, to chalk up very sweaty hands. Do you have weekend. any current projects or anything you're working on in the climbing scene, Tom, at the moment? Any outdoor climbs you've got to, on your hit list? Yeah, there's a few things locally. I'm living in the Blue Mountains. Um, yeah, there's a few local projects that I'd like to spend a bit of time on. Um, yeah, it's getting a little bit hot yeah. for like ultra high performance there in the mountains, but it's a really good time for me for a bit of training yep. and yep. just to kind of dip my toe in on those projects and just see where they're at. And yeah, there's a few of them that'll be you know, in that kind of 36, 37, so 9A plus, 9B kind of range, I think. Yeah. Run up them on the weekend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Run up them. Yeah. Cut some Phenomenal. Laps, so yeah, yeah. That's, that's something that um, I'm really passionate about now. And I think maybe, you know, a few of those, these competitors from the weekend might try and find a bit of love for climbing, listen to the kookaburras and the wind through the gum trees. And, Get out uh, and about. Yep. Yeah. Have yep. A bit of fun. Well, I think uh, I've, I've seen a bit of your uh, YouTube channel footage and uh, it uh, certainly showcases the Blue Mountains <laughs> amazingly. It always gets me psyched and excited to go Be back there for yeah. sure. Beautiful area. Yeah. Well, there you go, folks. Well, listen, uh, stick around. We're going to have the uh, presentations uh, real soon. We might leave you with some highlights just for a little while. Of, uh, of the day and the previous day. But folks, hang around. You're going to see the most awesome presentations to our deserved winners uh, just in a moment. So don't go away.
Incredible stuff. To begin our medal ceremony, we are very, very fortunate to have IFSC okay. President Marco Scolaris here with us today. Can we give President Scolaris a big round of applause? Um. I must confess that I did cry, like all of you. It was unbelievable. Uh, I have to tell you something. When I entered this venue yesterday, I was impressed. I didn't see any difference from the big venues that we have in Europe, that we have in the United States, where we run our events. And then, of course, your passion is the same as the passion we experience all around the world. But this is not, is not a surprise. We are climbers and we are sharing the same passion. This event was absolutely great, I think. It's not finished, huh? we still have the speed tomorrow. So it was really great to stay together. We issued two tickets for Paris tonight. We will issue two more tomorrow. You don't hear? Okay. <laughs> um, it's difficult to find the words when you see such a, a big show. And once again, we prove to the world that our athletes deserve to be Olympics, Olympians. They deserve to be in the Olympic Games. It was hard to get there, but you know, when you see what they're able to do, then you, you understand, you feel, that you did it the right thing. I want to add one more thing. <clears throat> you know that uh, um, we are going to Paris. Two of you are going to Paris. Two more, we go to Paris tomorrow. Huh? We get the ticket, we, they will get the ticket. And then after Paris, we are program sport in Los Angeles. And then we have uh, to fight to be in Brisbane. Brisbane 2032 is your country, is your continent. We have to start working now in order to give to your country, to your continent, the place that it deserves in the world of climbing, the climbing world. I don't see any reason why the Oceanian count, ca, uh, climbers cannot have a medal hope in Brisbane 2032. It's a long way, but from what I've seen, again, you have all the chances to create strong teams in your countries, in Australia, in New Zealand, in Guam. Uh, Guam uh, is coming, welcome. And also in the other countries that uh, are members of uh, <coughs> the Olympic Council of, uh, of Oceania. So that I think we have to go to the ceremony. Correct. It's dangerous when I have a microphone in my <laughs> hand, uh, so better we go to the ceremony now. <laughs>
Okay, thank you very much. The IFSC is proud of you. I want to thank uh, Naomi, president of the Oceanian Council, and my colleague in the board. Thank you, Naomi. Huh? <laughs> Naomi is bringing a different perspective. You know, our sport is a bit uh, Eurocentric, like many sports. It's important that we are able to listen to different views, different way to see life and not only eh, to see sports. So this is thank you. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you to the Sport Climbing Federation of Australia. You, you have a big responsibility for the future. Uh, I forgot my colleague, Vice President uh, Kobinata Toru. Who has <laughs> Kobinata, Kob Kobinata san, to use the uh, correct uh, Japanese expression helped me a lot to to get a place in the Olympic Games uh, in uh, in uh, in Tokyo, <coughs> 2020 and then 2021. See also old friends, Romain, who was in the board and um, former president of the Continental Council and now in the Federation. Thank you, Romain, for all to, all you have done. So again, thank you to the Federation. Thank you for the. To the friends, we have new friends, the, the, the gym manager, the, 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 the gym owner, all those who wanted to invest in our sport in this gym that is amazing. When I heard that part of this gym was built by, by you guys, that is fantastic. Huh? This is a lesson that everybody should uh, learn, huh? the, what is possible with passion. That's all, huh? so, you see, I go on, and so <laughs> better I stop, I hope that also, also want to thank uh, the, the authorities who came and uh, the Vice President of the Australian Olympic Committee. Evelyn, thank you for being with us. I hope uh, you, you enjoy the sport and you get some input and uh, you will be able to give advice and to help our federation to, to grow. Thank you, Evelyn. <laughs> So that's all, folks. I keep the other half an hour, 30 minute speech for tomorrow and think we can go for the ceremony. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's have one more round of applause for IFSC President Marco Stolaris. Thank, Thank you, sir. All right, it is now time to reveal some medalists to put this dais to good use. Let's begin then with the victory ceremony for the IFSC Oceania Lead and Boulder Olympic Qualifier 2023. Please welcome the medalists for Lead and Boulder men. The medals will be presented by IFSC Vice President Kobinata Toru and IFSC Oceania President Naomi Cleary. Bronze medal from Australia, Dylan Parks. Silver medal. From Australia, Sam Lavender. <laughs> Gold medal, representing Australia, Campbell Harrison. Ladies and gentlemen,
Please rise, please do be upstanding for the national anthem of Australia. Australians all let us And they were your medalists for lead and boulder men. Next up, we will welcome the medalists for lead and boulder women. The medals will be presented by IFSC President Marco Scolaris and Sport Climbing Australia board member Mercedes Yanev. Bronze medal, representing Australia, Emily Scott. <laughs> Silver medal, representing Australia, Maya Staziuk. Gold medal, Australia, Oceania McKenzie! Once again, please rise for the national anthem of Australia. Your medalists for the lead and bolder women. 
And we had our first streaker right at the end. Perfect timing. <laughs> well done. Well, folks, with that, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on out. We are going to be back with our speed climbing tomorrow, so please do not be a stranger. We want to say a huge thanks to Visit Victoria, to Urban Climb Blackburn for hosting us, to our sponsors, Snap, Kilter, Grizzly, and our championship sponsor, Rayline. Huge hats off to the SCA team. Roman leading the event, getting it all done. It's been massive and it's not over yet. Make sure you come and say hello tomorrow. Thank you, judges. Thank you, volunteers. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. Uh, we've, we've seen the uh, podiums, Ian. Amazing job with all the athletes. Uh, very emotional down there on the floor. Say, yeah. yeah, super emotional. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Tom's uh, gone off, folks, and he's going to try and see if he can grab one or two of the athletes. So hang around for a minute or two. But the official job is done today, Ian. But tomorrow we're going to be coming back for the speed climbing. We've got the, uh, the semifinals in the morning and we've got the finals in the afternoon. And hopefully, hopefully we might see a record or two broken. We do have one or two very yeah, fast some, speed climbers some great, as well. And that's the time, better time than ever yep. um, to do it on, in the big stage. So, yeah, I'm super excited. It'll be fast-paced tomorrow. It's all entertainment. Please clear your schedules. Make sure you're here along with us. We'll be here bringing it all to you. And um, I'm still taking in what we've seen there. Sensational. Oh, yeah, just, just, the the yeah. energy's still buzzing. Uh, we'll see if we can find Tom in the crowd. He might be able to grab one or two of the competitors, folks. So hang around for that. He's going to find out what it means to for, for some of our competitors and our winners to maybe yeah. win today or be on the podium and or take that uh, Olympic spot. There was yeah. two today. There'll be two tomorrow. That's awesome to see. So uh, stick guys. with us. Uh, we won't be too long. Uh, we might uh, throw to a quick highlights and then we might see if Tom can find well the athletes on the floor. Something's in the water Afraid we won't survive I know the taste of the words that you say So they learn Let it burn as it's going down So got me trapped until your curse Cause you know it always works It's human nature It's in my, it's in my nature Throw me
waiting for this moment The final battle of the chosen See, I'm never gonna quit Got my legacy set in motion So welcome to the fire Congratulations, that is so much going in there. We had a little hug off camera before. Um, far out, mate, you've got the ticket. You're off to Paris. How does that feel? Yeah, I, I don't even have words to describe, I think, like the, the emotion. It, it, it feels unreal, like it's gonna disappear or something all of a sudden. Um, I think I've been thinking and dreaming about this moment for a long time and it really evaded me for, for a while and it's been a really hard journey and yeah it was uh it was such a difficult weekend the emotions were so high and I, I really had to kind of pull together every every tool in my toolbox to to keep my head in the game and keep calm and even on the wall um you know feeling good but knowing that i couldn't make any mistakes that it, it, i really had to be all in and 100 percent there and and the feeling of like putting that together was just uh, something I've never felt before and I've never felt so emotionally invested in, in and as of any of my sporting achievements. This is just, I just don't. It, it looked incredible. And the thing that I, I was saying in the commentary box, you're like, you are probably our most accomplished international male athlete. Right. Like you've, you've shown up to so many competitions over so many years, you put so much into your climbing, into this sport. And like devastating through the Oceania Championships in 2020 for you, there was so much going on with border closures and all that, the emotional roller coaster, and then to bring yourself back again, to pull it all together, to go through the whole period. You are saying like the emotional up and down over the weekend, like that's not just for the weekend, that's been the last 10 years or more of your training and to bring it all together and you, you climbed so incredibly confidently under all of that pressure, all of the dreams are there in the back of your mind. You just looked so calm and confident and happy to be climbing up there and it all came out when you hit that top. Yeah, I'm glad I, I'm glad I looked calm and confident on the outside because, um, yeah, on, on the inside I was, yeah, this is the, what, the most intense few days I've probably ever lived in my sporting career and like you said the 
the most intense few years. You know, the whole Olympic cycle after, I didn't really get to finish the last one. And so I knew that the main goal for this one was just to get to the finish line. Um, but I also knew that as much as I could kid myself that getting to the finish line would be enough. Like I, I wanted this ticket so bad and I just, yeah, it, it just means everything. It just means so much to me. It, it, it's absolutely awesome. I was kind of shedding a tear up there in the commentary booth for you. And Paris, it's kind of going to be a bit of a home world, uh, home games for you in a way. A little bit, yeah. My partner is French, and so we have a lot of family in France. And I, I love France, and uh, it's um, yeah, I love the city. It, it's it's going to be so incredible. It's so hard to even uh, sort of put it into words that it's all real and it's actually happening. And yeah. Uh, it's going to be such an incredible experience and I'm so happy to be sharing with Osh as well. We've been such close friends for such a long time and uh, seeing the stuff that she's been able to do for Australian climbing is just mind-blowing and, and to join the club as well with yourself um, of Aussie Olympic climbers is just mind-blowing. Yeah, I can say it doesn't really settle in until you actually show up and you're there in the village. To me, it just felt like a blur and um, yeah, I just, I can't can't be more psyched for you and just enjoy the ride the next few months going to be massive for you a little break now and then train yeah I'm going to go on a little non-climbing holiday um, and take some time to just soak it all in I'm really glad that now I get to kind of plan my season and know what it's going to be like um, uh, yeah and just give it everything really like the thought that's been in my back of my back of my mind this whole time is you know qualifying is the first step and I want to approach the Olympics in a way that I've, that's beyond anything I've done before. I really want to be able to give it everything and, and, and show up with all of my training behind me. So it's, it's going to be a fun road. I'm sure there is lots of, uh, lots of tough times to come, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and, and so grateful to be able to like, take that next step. Best of luck, man. Just enjoy the ride and it's just going to be beautiful to see you and Osh over there in Paris. So good job again, Thank mate. So well, that's uh, nice. so great to see, isn't it, Ian? Yeah. Well done. Well, uh, it's awesome to see, uh, you know, that all ahead of him now. Yeah, exactly. And, and what a great mindset he's got there to say, hey, look, you know, I've done it. This is what I planned for. But step one, I know what I'm doing. Little holiday, right. straight on. Amazing. Uh, all right. I, uh, well, uh, yeah, that's great. Well, uh, why don't we have got Oceana straight up in. So let's Ooh. go back and see O straight away. Uh, let's see her, uh, what she's got to say. <laughs> Osh McKenzie, congratulations. You are Australia's first dual climbing Olympian. You looked so in control over the weekend. Congratulations, that must be a huge weight off your shoulders. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I'm feeling so happy right now with all my family around and yeah, having a great competition, so feeling pretty good. <laughs> yeah, really different to last time. It was full kind of COVID stuff, lockdowns and all that. And to see all your sisters here, you get a little niece there. Um, yeah, mum and dad, it's just awesome, full family. And you, you get to sleep in your own bed at home. That's good all felt good. Definitely. I mean, it's also kind of a weird feeling to have a competition and be like 15 minutes from my house, sleeping in my bed. I, I was a bit worried I wouldn't be able to get into like kind of the comp mindset, I guess. But yeah, now I had a really good time and climbing with all my friends. So. Perfect. So yeah, you competed quite well last time and your, your the last couple of years, especially this year, has just looked incredible, like a whole new level. What do you think you're going to bring into your training period and the, the preparation going into Paris that will be a little bit different to Tokyo? Obviously no speed climbing, but do you feel like you've learned a lot from that period and you can bring this into Paris? Yeah, I mean, I would say the biggest difference for me this year was my confidence. Definitely building it up after the lockdowns in Tokyo. I had a little bit of um, burnout, I guess, after that. So I think I'm just trying to make sure that I'm enjoying climbing as much as I can and doing what I love. Um, and that's the biggest thing for me, you know, just, yeah, training in the ways that I want to. And yeah, it's the biggest thing. Yeah, you've always got such a smile on your face and that confidence and you just show up and you go, this is me, I'm going climbing and I'm not going to fall off. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it, it's awesome to watch. So, congratulations. Good luck on the next few months. You know the roller coaster. It's going to be its whole new beast again. Uh, what's kind of the plan? World Cups mixed in with a bit of training, or what are you kind of thinking? Yeah, I mean, I'll be talking to my coach after tonight. Um, I mean, right now, because I've just been enjoying competitions so much, I want to do everything, but it's definitely not the best idea. So, I think I'll just be choosing a few World Cups to go to, um, and then obviously pre preparing for to uh, Paris. <laughs> And a little bit of a break now, just take the foot off of the accelerator and just kind of enjoy or 
you've kind of still got that bit between your teeth. Maybe the coach needs to pull you back or let you run. Um, yeah, I actually had a little break during October. So I have about a week off. I'm traveling to Europe on Tuesday to start my preseason training then. So I'll have about a week off, but uh, straight back into preseason training. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I've, uh, I've got good feelings about Paris. Uh, best of luck. Good luck through all of it. It's a, it's a hard road, but yeah, you, you, you're looking awesome and climbing's looking great. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, there you go, folks. Well, we heard from uh, two of the best. Uh, well, the two going to Paris, and it's great to see you. And those, uh, all those competitors really, you know, left it all on the wall this weekend, but only two got the ticket to Paris. Tomorrow we've got two more tickets to give away. Uh, not give away, earn uh, uh, in yeah, the speed climbing good, good, as well. Yeah. But uh, that's it from us, folks. Great to have you online with us. Thank you for joining us. Jason Witten signing off. Ian, we're going to be back tomorrow with Tom. You guys take care. Have that was so good night. today. See you tomorrow. Bye for now. Goodbye. Drop six.